Chapter 1541 Premonition of a Massacre Translator Born to be oh, that's right, Long Chen suddenly felt foolish. He had already gotten used to directly slashing people with his saber and had forgotten that he was a soul transformation expert. Long Chen's forehead began to shine, and a three-inch tall version of him appeared there. It was his Yuan spirit. That miniature version of himself rapidly formed hand seals. Suddenly, flames exploded out of him. Raging flames devour the heavens. The golden flames covered heaven and earth, incinerating the corrupt experts. Only a few life star experts managed to survive. Hurry and run. It's the heaven incinerating flame, shouted the expert with the divine item. He attacked Long Chen with it once more. Long Chen slashed his saber again, meeting his opponent's blood-colored saber. He was forced back once more. This time, he retreated on his own initiative rather than competing in power. As for Evil Moon, it looked down on this blood-colored saber. Its divine essence was so minuscule that it felt it wasn't even worth doing anything about it. Due to his injuries, Long Chen was unable to release his full power. He avoided taking head-on exchanges again, and using the power of his opponent's saber, he retreated in the direction that he wanted. As he flew through the air, he sent another slash at the corrupt god statue. The head of the statue became covered in cracks. After receiving two of Long Chen's attacks, it was no longer able to bear it. This statue did not have a protective formation around it, as it was the symbol of the corrupt path's faith. Who would possibly dare to attack it? The only thing defending it was a layer of divine light, which was simply a manifestation of the karmic luck it maintained. Its actual defensive power wasn't very high. You bastard Long Chen. You dare. You're right. I really do dare. Boom. Wielding his saber with both hands, Long Chen slashed it down right on the statue's head. The head finally exploded. In that instant, the divine light around the statue dimmed greatly as if it had instantly become an ordinary mud statue, as if it had lost its life, it crumbled, no, the life star expert with the divine item roared furiously, thousands of corrupt experts who weren't within Long Chen's flames charged at him now, they were all devout believers, however, those people's cultivation bases were too low, before they could even approach Long Chen, they were turned to ash by the heaven incinerating flame, yet, despite that, those corrupt experts continued to charge at Long Chen. Attacks flew through the air. The ferocity and ruthlessness of the corrupt path were revealed at this time. Long Chen blocked the blood-colored divine saber once more but found that the elder had somehow activated a portion of his divine item's power. Its great power sent Long Chen tumbling back, and he almost coughed up blood. He ended up flying outside the area of raging flames devour the heavens. This time, he had set it up as a set area attack, not a domain that followed him. As a result, all the corrupt experts took advantage of this and charged at him. Long Chen still had a calm smile on his face. He rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and raised his right hand. A huge sphere came to life, instantly growing to 3,000 meters. Starfall, the huge sphere exploded amongst the corrupt experts. Completely annihilating this corrupt sect countless corrupt experts were killed by this attack, and the land was completely destroyed. The only one remaining was the life star expert with a divine item. The soul transformation realm really is great. Long Chen smiled. With the help of a Yuan spirit forming hand seals for him, he was able to unleash a huge move like Starfall in an instant. This feeling really was refreshing. The first thing someone had to do while forming hand seals was gather their chi, essence, and soul together so that they could control their energy, passing it through their set meridians to unleash a powerful technique. On the other hand, the Yuan spirit itself was formed of a combination of the chi, essence, and soul. It could directly control that energy. This was the strongest point of the soul transformation realm, of course. Only Empyreans with extremely powerful Yuan spirits could do such a thing. This was yet another major barrier between rank 9 Celestials and Empyreans. Long Chen, you blasphemed the god. You won't have a good death. The life star expert roared. His face was twisted with rage. He was the leader of this sect. But now, his sect and the statue of the corrupt god had been destroyed. His heart was dripping blood. He suddenly spat a mouthful of blood onto his divine item. It began to rumble, 
and a sea of blood appeared in the sky. Within that sea of blood was a huge saber that slashed mercilessly at Long Chen, sealing all his paths of retreat. Split the heavens five. Long Chen summoned his own huge saber image. It was a black saber image with the will to cut apart heaven and earth. Long Chen had been prepared the instant the life star expert had spat out blood. The black saber image struck the blood-colored saber image. As a result, Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew back. The life star expert had it even worse than him. He flew even farther, coughing up three mouthfuls of blood. He, not bad. I can block a divine item with my own power. That attack would have killed him if I wasn't injured. Long Chen smiled confidently. Let it go. That divine item in his hand is absolute garbage. Almost all its divine essence has already faded. Do you not see that I'm too lazy to even absorb it? Evil Moon didn't hesitate to mercilessly give a blow to his new confidence. He, at the very least, my body can now resist some divine power. It's not so difficult to bear as before, said Long Chen. After reaching the soul transformation realm, he had truly gotten much stronger. Isn't that obvious? You are someone who went through divine tribulation. You now have a certain resistance to divine energy, said Evil Moon. Thunder force circulated below Long Chen's feet, and he appeared where the statue had been. After he slashed the ground, the divine pool surfaced, almost overflowing with the pure and dense heaven and earth divine spring. He, since you're so generous, I'll happily accept it. Long Chen waved his hand, collecting it all. The life star expert came pouncing at him like a madman. I won't play any longer with you. Let us meet again. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back and he vanished from that person's sight. The life star expert couldn't even tell which direction Long Chen had gone because he was so fast. Looking at the scene of desolation around him, he let out a heaven-shaking roar. Long Chen, you won't have a good death. Long Chen heard the roar, but he didn't bother with it. His heart was practically blooming with flowers. The corrupt sects worshipped the corrupt god. Hence, that sect's heaven and earth divine spring had been extremely dense almost on the same level as the pill towers. It was much better quality-wise than the other sects he had plundered. That little fellow Gui Yan is interesting. As soon as he saw me, he slipped away without even fighting. Originally, I was even wondering what kind of excuse I would have to make to let him get away. He, that child is really smart. Long Chen laughed. Things were progressing very smoothly. Taking out the blood tracing soul jade. Long Chen quickly confirmed Gui Yan's direction. He had to be fleeing to another corrupt sect as he rushed after. He encountered several waves of blockers, and they were all slain by him. Most likely, they had come rushing over upon receiving a distress signal. But Long Chen was too fast. They were still rushing over when things had already ended. This was already something Long Chen had anticipated from the start. When he had attacked. He had sent one of Lai Long's split bodies to destroy the sect's transportation formations. Six hours later, Long Chen finally found Gui Yan's destination. It was another corrupt sect he had only just entered when the sect's grand protective formation was activated. Without saying a word, Long Chen used Split the Heavens to break the formation. The first thing he did was find Gui Yan and kick him half dead before feigning that he was entangled with other experts allowing Gui Yan to get away again. Once Gui Yan fled, Long Chen destroyed their statue and took their divine spring. Then with Starfall, he destroyed the sect the sect's experts couldn't hold him back at all. After getting what he wanted, he immediately left. Long Chen had to admit that this child Gui Yan was truly capable. In just one day, he led him across seven corrupt sects. However, when he reached the eighth sect, he encountered a terrifying existence and wasn't able to defeat them. Seeing that he had about enough of the heaven and earth divine spring, he had Evil Moon cut through space and returned to the continent. There are still 10 days. I have 10 days to fully recover and digest this heaven and earth divine spring. HMPH, Sha Guangyan, if I don't cut off your dog head, I won't be Long Chen. Long Chen's eyes shone with cold killing intent. He would never be able to forget the sight of Sha Guangai and torturing cloud. There was no way to reason with some people. There was only one thing to do. 
Kill. Chapter 1542 Stormy waves surge towards the Grand Han capital translator. Born to be huge waves were rocking the eastern Xuan region. The matter of the dragon slaughtering convention was discussed everywhere. Sha Guanggian, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang had captured the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow as representatives of the eastern Xuan region's top junior generation experts, using it to challenge Long Chen. That photographic jade had spread to every inch of the eastern Xuan region. Even mortals that weren't cultivators were aware of this matter. People discussed the dragon slaughtering convention in restaurants, tea houses, the streets, everywhere. This was a clear challenge. Sha Guanggian had even gathered all the Eastern Xuan region's junior generation experts. Anyone who was under 50 years old and was still at the soul transformation realm was invited. Sha Guanggian's goal in doing this was obvious. Long Chen was acclaimed as the Eastern Xuan region's number one expert and he had never been defeated by anyone in the same realm. His story had become the legend of an undefeatable god amongst the eastern Xuan region's junior generation. Even though Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Bloodkill Hall were all spreading stories that Long Chen had betrayed the human race by allying with the spirit world's demons, many people didn't believe those stories. Even when they brought out the iron proof that Long Chen had fought alongside the spirit warriors, it was ineffective. That was because those people worshipped Long Chen. They didn't listen to anyone. They only trusted Long Chen in their own eyes. Their catchphrase was that Long Chen had always acted openly, daring to do anything and admit to it. If he really did betray the human race, then he would have admitted to it. Since he didn't admit to it, it meant they were framing him. This was the result of the huge fight in the eastern Xuan city back then. Long Chen had attacked the heavenly tribulation, drawing down the ire of the heavens on himself. In order to protect the people in the city, the large majority of those people had been hostile toward him, but he had still risked his life for them. How could such a person betray the human race? On the other hand, it was Yi King Kuang who had caused that tribulation and involved the lives of all those commoners. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, how many people would have been slain because of him? As a result, Sha Guanggian and Pen Wanshang, who had had quite a few worshippers themselves, had ended up falling out of favor. Although their reputation hadn't reached rock bottom, the numbers of their supporters had clearly dropped. Meanwhile, Long Chen's display had won over quite a few people who had been suspicious or even jealous of him. His arrogance, his domineeringness, his daring to advance courageously despite all obstacles, that charisma was infectious. Even in the face of Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance, he refused to retreat. Many people were now questioning whether or not Long Chen had really destroyed the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Could such a person really do something like destroying their own sect? Countless experts did a secret investigation of the matter. As a result, they found that there were traces of the power of the corrupt god skull, violet gold soul devouring staff, and other divine items in the wreckage of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The most shocking thing was that someone pointed out the leftover aura of Pill Valley's Brahma divine diagram, and that caused an uproar. Just as they were shocked by that, Long Chen had destroyed the sects that had tried to kill him and even raised the Pill Tower to the ground. People seemed to finally understand something. Although the public opinion was suppressed by the joint power of Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance, that was only on the surface, there were still people discussing this in secret. There were all kinds of rumors, and it was difficult to determine what was true and what was false. However, at least public opinion was not one-sided. Many people believed that Long Chen had been falsely accused. Although Long Chen hadn't tried to provide an explanation or defend himself, they all knew that with Long Chen's pride, he would disdain doing such a thing. He was already surrounded by enemies, so he was fine with getting a few more. This was Long Chen's boldness and imposing attitude. It was also this that won him the admiration of countless people, especially the young people who viewed him as an idol, a target to chase after. They dreamed of being able to become as wild and domineering as Long Chen. That was a true man. The fact that the dragon slaughtering convention was to be held in the Grand Han was confusing to people. It was unknown what Sha Guanggian's intentions were behind that. 
Some people pointed out that there was clearly a political goal behind this. He was trying to gather everyone's power to throw the four ancient nations structure into chaos. After this, the four ancient nations would also be drawn into the cultivation world. Rumor had that in the past few months, the four ancient nations dragon veins were showing signs of awakening. That meant that the four ancient nations were about to enter a golden age. After all, they were nations that had survived from the immortal era. They had experienced the devastation of the dark eras but had staunchly survived. If their dragon veins awakened, it was unknown what kind of changes would happen within them. There were also rumors that the Grand Han was in full support of the Dragon Slaughtering Convention. Even the bricks of the Grand Han's capital were carved with Long Chen's image and name so that others could trample it. Within the Grand Han, Long Chen was named as the Devil Incarnate. He was a murderous, irredeemable fiend in human form. There were countless people shouting on the streets, demanding his execution. The Eastern Xuan region's geniuses rapidly gathered in the Grand Han. The Grand Han's capital became filled with experts. While Sha Guangyan's challenge spread throughout the Eastern Xuan region, Long Chen had vanished without a trace. People began to curse Long Chen for being a cowardly mouse and not being a man. It was at that moment that shocking news came from the corrupt path. In one day, Long Chen had destroyed seven corrupt sects, destroying their corrupt god statues and taking their heaven and earth divine springs. Long Chen really is trying to defy the heavens. Just what is he thinking? Why would he go attack the corrupt path at this time? Do you see? What is unrivaled domineeringness? What is looking down on others? Long Chen doesn't even care about your stupid dragon slaughtering convention. Perhaps Long Chen is using this method to reply to Sha Guangyan and the others that he has accepted their challenge. Ah, Long Chen really is Long Chen. No matter what. He always does something unexpected. The news that Long Chen had destroyed seven corrupt sects shocked the eastern Xuan region. They thought that this was a bloody reply toward Sha Guangyan's challenge. Clearly, Long Chen was infuriated. Sha Guangyan's actions were truly despicable. They had actually captured Long Chen's steed and used it against him. Long Chen's actions were a promise to make Sha Guangyan pay a bloody price. In truth, they had all misjudged Long Chen. Long Chen naturally didn't have the time to do something so senseless. He had only attacked the corrupt path to allow his five stars to reach their peak state. Time passed day by day. More and more experts gathered in the Grand Han. Without exception, anyone who was allowed into the capital was a young expert who had reached the soul transformation realm or below. All the famous geniuses of the Eastern Xuan region had come. It could be said that the capital of the Grand Han was packed with geniuses. Rank 7 and Rank 8 Celestials had ended up becoming ordinary. Even Rank 9 Celestials weren't shocking. Those below Rank 7 Celestials weren't even qualified to enter the capital. They were forced to be spectators outside the city. The commoners who had originally lived in the city were all forced out for the Dragon Slaughtering Convention. The capital of the Grand Han had become a world for cultivators alone. The Rank 7 and Rank 8 Celestials that had come all knew that even though they were allowed inside the city, they were not the main characters of this battle. Even Rank 9 Celestials were minor figures. The true main characters would have to have reached the level of Empyreans. When there was just one day until the Dragon Slaughtering Convention, rumbling rang out as a carriage pulled by a Golden Earth Dragon ran over. The Violet Horn Golden Earth Dragon. It's the Grand Shia Ancient Nation. The Violet Horn Golden Earth Dragon was unable to fly. It only slowed down once it reached the city gates. The Grand Xia Shia Yunchong and Shia Yaoluo have come per your invitation. Why did you close your doors for your guests? Shia Yunchong and Shia Yaoluo's figures appeared above the carriage. Shia Yunchong coldly shouted at the closed city gates. Shia Yunchong had once come to the Grand Han before, and he knew that it was different from the Grand Shia. There was an outer city and an inner city here. It was permitted for a carriage to pass through the outer city gates. But now they were closed. That was clearly a bit insulting. The experts that came before were all allowed through. The Grand Han is clearly blocking the Grand Xia's carriage on purpose. Whispered someone in the crowd. There's no need to even think about such a matter. With the Grand Han's habit of bullying others. This is simply natural for them. They're using the support of Pill Valley. The ancient races, 
and the ancient family alliance to humiliate the Grand Xia, said someone else disdainfully. Xia Yunchang, this palace isn't the Grand Xia. With your power, you aren't qualified to enter with a carriage. Hurry up and enter through the side door. If you don't like it, you can scram back to wherever you came from. A dozen figures wearing the Grand Han's robes appeared on top of the city gates. Their leader was a rank 9 celestial at the Soul Transformation Realm, and he was the one speaking rudely to Xia Yunchang. Brother, let's get off, said Xia Yaoluo, not wanting to cause trouble. All she wanted to do was see Long Chen. If there was a conflict and they weren't allowed to enter the city, then they would have come for nothing. You don't understand this kind of thing. You can't let others force you when it comes to this. Since they want to see my qualifications, I'll show them my qualifications boom. Xia Yunchong suddenly jumped from the carriage and punched out. A giant fist image struck the city gates. Chapter 1543 One Sword Shakes Top Genius's Translator Born to be Boom The huge city gates were blown apart by Xia Yunchong's punch, and a powerful shockwave sent the debris flying in every direction drawing out startled cries. The dragon slaughtering convention had drawn countless geniuses over to the Grand Han's capital. The city gates were nothing more than decoration since the protective formation had not been activated. As a result, Xia Yunchong managed to destroy them in one punch. Countless experts flew out from within the city to see what was going on. When the dust settled, they saw Xia Yunchong's tough face. People were startled. Xia Yunchong had always remained within the Grand Xia ancient nation and did not participate in the cultivation world struggles. That was why only a few people recognized him. Xia Yunchong, you're courting death. The rank 9 celestial flew down at Xia Yunchong. Xia Yunchong's actions were a slap to the Grand Han's face. Nine flowers appeared behind the rank 9 celestial. He actually concentrated all his power, wanting to kill Xia Yunchong right here. Boom. What shocked everyone was that the Grand Han's rank 9 celestial was sent flying back. He struck the city wall. Xia Yunchong's first punch damaged the city walls already, and now they crumbled. The rank 9 celestial coughed up blood and was aghast when he looked at Xia Yunchong. How is this possible at this time? There were 9 flowers behind Xia Yunchong as well. He was actually a rank 9 celestial. What a domineering aura. This person is very powerful said a rank 9 celestial amongst the crowd. Xia Yunchong's aura was very shocking. Everyone felt his spiritual pressure. Rumor has it that the Grand Xia's Prince Xia Yunchong walks the undefeatable Dao. It seems it's really true. Another person nodded. That undefeatable will from Xia Yunchong's body made them all feel a great pressure. Looking at the shocked rank 9 celestial of the Grand Han, Xia Yunchong sneered. Is it so curious? Heaven and earth are changing. Geniuses are rising one by one. If even your Grand Han could produce a few rank 9 celestials, why can't my Grand Xia the Grand Han's experts' hearts shook? It seemed the Grand Xia ancient nation had always refused to reveal their true power. Based on these words, had they produced rank 9 celestials a long while ago and they just hadn't revealed them? They were truly patient. HMPH. Does an insignificant rank 9 celestial have the qualifications to be arrogant? How laughable. Just at this moment, a large figure appeared in the sky. When he appeared, startled cries rang out. Yi King Kuang. This person was the Empyrean Yi King Kuang. Standing in the air, the power of the heavenly Dao surged around him. The arrival of an Empyrean pressured everyone, making it hard for them to breathe. This was the pressure of an Empyrean. Ha ha ha. As an insignificant rank 9 celestial, of course I'm not qualified to be arrogant. But since I received your invitation, I am qualified to attend. Since I was invited, I shouldn't have been refused outside your door just to be humiliated. This is a humiliation to the Grand Shia. If anyone thinks that my Grand Zaya's men are easy to bully, then they have made a very large mistake. My Grand Zaya's men are all like Long Chen, and they would rather die standing than kneel to live, said Shia Yunchong powerfully, with the determination to face death. Xia Yunchong's meaning was clear. Although he was just a rank 9 celestial, no one could humiliate him. They could only kill him. Many people didn't recognize him, but his aura and his loftiness won them over. He was a real man. Furthermore, 
This was clearly the dragon slaughtering convention. Their goal was to draw Long Chen out and kill him. But Xia Yanchang did not mask his praise toward Long Chen at all. He was clearly expressing his standpoint. HMPH, your mouth's tough. I heard you're Long Chen's brother? Then let me see just how powerful Long Chen's brother is. Yi King Kuang sneered disdainfully. He suddenly raised his arms, and all the world's heavenly Tao energy was sucked dry by him. He sent a punch at Xia Yanchang. This was definitely bullying. An Empyrean was attacking a rank 9 celestial and even using their heavenly Tao pressure. Yi King Kuang was absolutely tasteless. All the experts in the city shook their heads. They all felt that Yi King Kuang's character was too rotten. Back in the eastern Xuan city, Yi King Kuang had been fine with killing all the commoners in the city with his tribulation. That was something only a miserable person would do. But at least he could say that he had lost himself in battle and hadn't been thinking about it. Now, he was clearly displacing his anger from being defeated by Long Chen onto Xia Yanchang. There was no way to describe that as the conduct of an expert. Although people worshipped the strong, that kind of character was too detestable. However, no one dared to say anything in the face of his tyrannical reign. Having lost to Long Chen, you come to attack me? Not bad. As expected of a powerful Empyrean how could Xia Yanchang not understand his goal? Yi King Kuang was clearly intent on defeating him to win back some of the face he had lost to Long Chen. Die. Yi King Kuang's expression was full of killing intent. Xia Yanchang's words had struck right in his weak spot. Originally, he had just been planning on humiliating Xia Yanchang, but now he wanted to kill him. The power behind his punch increased. Seeing Yi King Kuang's punch arriving, Xia Yanchang took a deep breath. The nine flowers behind him revolved and an indistinct figure appeared within it. He also let out a punch. Boom. The void shook and qi waves shot in every direction. Xia Yanchang was sent flying, but the shocking thing was that he wasn't killed. He was just forced back a few hundred meters. He, he blocked that. Startled cries rang out. How could someone use the power of a rank 9 celestial to block an attack from an Empyrean? Where did he get that much heavenly Tao energy from? In order to block that attack, Xia Yanchang had paid a price. His arm was now broken, and blood leaked out of his mouth. As Yi King Kuang was an Empyrean, it was much more difficult for Xia Yanchang to use heavenly Tao energy to heal himself. HMPH. So you're supported by karmic luck. No wonder you could block a punch from me, sneered Yi King Kuang as he looked at the vague figure behind Xia Yanchang. Within the nine flower manifestation behind Xia Yanchang was an image of a dragon that was constantly flashing. It was the energy of the Grand Xia's dragon vein. Last time, while the Four Nations ancient remnant was open, the Grand Han's experts had been slain, and all their dragon vein energy had been concentrated on the side of the Grand Xia. That had resulted in the Grand Xia's dragon vein strengthening to an unprecedented level. Even in the Grand Han's capital, it was possible for some of its power to reach Xia Yanchang. It was because of the support of the Dragon Vein that Xia Yanchang was able to block that terrifying attack. Otherwise, in this situation where he was unable to draw out Heavenly Tao energy, he'd have been killed. Just an insignificant trick. Have a taste of another one of my attacks. Yi King Kuang suddenly attacked again, this time with an even stronger attack. The whistling sound of it caused people to cover their ears in pain. Big brother, Xia Yaoluo let out a startled cry. She knew that while Xia Yanchang's power allowed him to dominate rank 9 celestials, he couldn't match an Empyrean. Just as Xia Yaoluo was about to interfere, rumbling rang out. Two broadswords hacked through the air, bringing with them a will to split heaven and earth. Boom. Xia Yanchang's block and the power of those broadswords struck Yi King Kuang's attack. He was actually knocked back several steps. He shouted, Who's there? Your daddy Bao and daddy Chang have arrived. Do you want to kneel and kowtow to us? Two large men appeared in the air, holding broadswords that were even longer than they were tall. It's the heaven-splitting battle sects Chang Hao and Bao Buping. Several people recognized their identity. As expected, the era is starting to change. They've also advanced to rank 9 celestials. People muttered. It was no wonder so many rank 9 celestials had appeared at this dragon slaughtering convention. 
Many of them had only advanced once the change in qi flow in the world had occurred. Geniuses were increasing in number. Bao Buping and Chang Hao had come just at the right time to help Xia Yanchang block Yi King Kuang's attack. However, the two of them were shocked as they finally experienced the power of an Empyrean. They hadn't held back in their attacks, but their surprise attacks only caused Yi King Kuang to take a couple steps back. They didn't even harm a single hair on his head. Many thanks for your assistance. Xia Yanchang hastily cupped his fists in thanks. If it hadn't been for the two of them, he might already be dead. Don't be courteous. Long Chen's brother is our brother. Bao Buping waved his hand. The heaven-splitting battle sect did not follow this kind of etiquette. Long Chen was close with them. Back then, they had fought against the seven bosses together. They were even closer than brothers. Then, when Long Chen had come back from Pill Valley, he had sent a portion of the Dragon Tiger body tempering pills he had refined from the Aldevil monster's blood to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's disciples cultivated the Battle God Sacred Cannon, and their requirements for their physical bodies were extremely high. Hence, the Dragon Tiger body tempering pills were priceless treasures to them. After consuming the Dragon Tiger body tempering pills, their bodies had undergone a heaven flipping change. The main reason for this was because the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples did not consume medicinal pills. Since it was their first time consuming medicinal pills, the pill instantly stimulated all their potential. At that time, the two of them had advanced to become rank 9 celestials, delighting them. Now that Long Chen was in trouble, they naturally volunteered to come. They had said that all they would have to do was flatten the capital, but after one exchange with Yi King Kuang, they realized they had bragged a bit too hard. So you're all related to Long Chen. Then you can all die. Yi King Kuang's primal chaos manifestation sprang into existence behind him. However, just as he was about to use his manifestation to completely suppress the three of them, a cold-faced man with a sword on his back appeared in front of him. He reached a hand toward the hilt on his back. The sound of a sword coming out of its sheath was like a dragon cry. Sword light flashed. One that could sever the river of stars, cover the nine heavens, slay devils and gods, and shake the cosmos. Chapter 1544 Pervading Killing Intent Translator Born to be that person's arrival was out of nowhere. But when he took out his sword, everyone felt that their concept of time was severed by it. Their heads were blank as they simply stared lifelessly at the sword. The sword slashed down. Yi King Kuang suddenly let out a mad roar and his aura exploded. His heavenly Tao energy formed a huge barrier around him, and he hastily retreated at the same time. When that sword fell, all people saw was a cold flash of light, and yet it also seemed like nothing had happened. That misconception made it seem like that sword had both moved and not moved. It was impossible to remember what that sword had just done. Yi King Kuang appeared a thousand meters away. The middle of his face had been sliced open and there was a straight bloody line going down his face. It wasn't deep, but blood poured out from his wound. Everyone was deathly silent. Yi King Kuang was an Empyrean, but he had been injured. Everyone, including Yi King Kuang, stared in shock at the newcomer. A light sound rang out as that person slowly sheathed his sword. The sound wasn't loud, but it possessed a great impact to their ears. That attack had looked completely insignificant and natural and yet it had injured an Empyrean. You were actually able to use heavenly Tao energy to resist my sword Qi, as expected of an Empyrean, said that person lightly a uh, bit of shock in his eyes. Who are you? Yi King Kuang wiped his face. His heavenly Tao energy circulated, and his injury vanished. His divine item, the steel coiling dragon staff, appeared in his other hand. He felt a sensation of terror toward this sword-wielding man. Just now, he had almost been slain. Just thinking about it made him afraid. Long Chen's subordinate, the Dragonblood Legion's fourth captain, Yu Zifeng. This man was Yu Zifeng. When Long Chen had created the Dragonblood Legion, there had been 360 members split into four groups led by four captains. Long Chen had decided to have Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Yu Zifeng be the captains. Wild was like a child and couldn't command others while that little fellow Guo Ran was too frivolous. He liked showing off too much. Long Chen's subordinate, 
the Dragonblood Legion's fourth captain, Yu Zifeng. These words resounded through the air, backed by Yu Zifeng's spiritual Yuan. Each word was like a blade piercing everyone's ears. With the impression left behind by his unstoppable sword, his voice seemed to pierce their souls. How terrifying. A captain is already so powerful? Just how strong is the Dragonblood Legion? Everyone was intimidated by Yu Zifeng. His sword was too marvelous, too shocking, too terrifying. Isn't your dragon slaughtering convention's goal to kill my boss and my dragon blood legion? Why would you refuse us at the door? Asked Yu Zifeng coldly. HMPH. Fine. Tomorrow, I'll put you in your place, and I won't give you a second chance to sneak attack me. Snorted Yi King Kuang. Strangely, despite overflowing with battle intent a moment ago, he now returned to the city. In any case, he was truly shameless. Yu Zifeng's attack had been a direct, head-on one, but somehow he managed to call it a sneak attack. Yu Zifeng smiled indifferently and didn't bother with him. He cupped his fists toward Xia Yanchang, Xia Yaoluo, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao. I'm not very eloquent. I hope you won't mind. Not being eloquent is the right thing. Being skilled at killing is better. Brother, this sword of yours is quite amazing. Do you still remember me? We fought together once on Devil Spirit Mountain. Bao Buping was very friendly, and he even patted Yu Zifeng's shoulder. This isn't the place to talk. Let's enter the city first and see what they have inside, said Chang Hao impatiently. Now that Chang Hao said this, the other four nodded. They walked into the city, quickly reaching the inner city gates. Once they entered the inner city, Xia Yanchang snorted. It seems the Grand Han has completely given their capital away. These city walls are new. Each of these bricks has the fluctuations of formation runes. The capital is definitely a nest of dragons and tigers. Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and Yu Zifeng didn't understand anything about formations. But having grown up in the Grand Xia's imperial family, Xia Yanchang had been taught many things from a young age. He saw through some clues. Although the walls looked old. The formation runes still let out some faint fluctuations that couldn't escape Xia Yanchang's senses. Whatever. In any case, Long Chen will definitely handle them. I believe in him, said Bao Buping confidently. After how Long Chen had led them in Devil Spirit Mountain, Bao Buping and Chang Hao had been completely won over by his intelligence and methods. Their confidence in him was practically blind. They felt that no matter what trap the other side had, it would be nothing to Long Chen. Once they were inside the inner city, Yu Zifeng took the lead. Countless gazes turned to him, filled with hostility as well as curiosity. Those who could enter the inner city were essentially at least rank 9 celestials. It was rare to find a single rank 8 celestial. I didn't think there were so many geniuses in the eastern Xuan region. Why didn't the old man tell me? Fuck. It couldn't be that he intentionally let us brag so we would be slapped in the face now? How evil, grumbled Bao Buping. He thought of when he had said big words in front of the old man. It seemed the old man's expression had become a bit odd at that time. My imperial father said that the change in the world is silently starting. Heavenly geniuses are rising. We're about to enter the great era. The martial heaven continent's karmic luck is erupting causing heavenly geniuses to be born like spring bamboo. Before, not even one in a hundred rank eight celestials would advance to rank nine celestials. Now, as long as a person's talent isn't terrible, there's an over 50% chance of them advancing to rank nine celestials, said Xia Yanchang. Just as he finished saying this, he looked at Yu Zifeng with some shock. Only now did he realize Yu Zifeng was like Long Chen. There weren't the slightest heavenly Tao fluctuations coming from him. What's this great era? Our family's old man also mentioned it. But when we asked him about it, he ignored us, said Bao Buping. Xia Yanchang said, the so-called great era refers to a period in the martial heaven continent's rise and fall. There are a total of five great eras recorded in history. Each time, it came right before the martial heaven continent faced calamity. On the verge of destruction. The continent gives birth to geniuses to fight it. Rumor has it that the Great Era is the Martial Heaven Continent's way of protecting itself. Protecting itself. Xia Yanchang nodded. If we consider the Martial Heaven Continent to be a living entity, it will need to react when its life is threatened. Of course, 
What I'm saying is only legend and folklore. No one knows whether or not it's true. But personally, I feel like the chances of this being true are high. That's because the five great eras always began before a dark era, when there was a danger to the martial heaven continent. Each time there is a great era, heavenly geniuses rise. During this era, a peerless expert needs to lead them all against the danger. Those peerless experts are all given a resounding and domineering title. Sovereign hearing this explanation, Yu Zifeng, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao were all enlightened. This was their first time hearing these ancient secrets. In all of history, there were five great eras and five sovereigns. Now that heavenly geniuses are bursting into existence, it shows that the great era isn't far off. Think about it. Just how rare were ranked nine celestials a few years ago? Empyreans only existed in legend. Now, they've all appeared. We've managed to catch this great era, said Xia Yunchang. He, our luck's pretty good. Then let's see just who in our generation gets to be sovereign. I wonder whether I'll have a chance, wondered Chang Hao. Yes, you definitely will. I trust my eyesight, said Bao Buping confidently. Really? How can you tell? Asked Chang Hao. Just from your name I feel like you have the style of a sovereign, said Bao Buping. My name. Think about it. Your name is Chang Hao, a man who dares to Hao, and Chang Hao at that. If you aren't the sovereign, who else could it be? Bao Buping wiggled his eyebrows with a wretched smile. Fuck, you're just messing around, raged Chang Hao. He finally realized what Bao Buping was saying. He was splitting his Hao into two parts. Xia Yanchang was speechless as he understood, but Yu Zifeng and Xia Yaoluo didn't react. The five of them continued onward under the gaze of countless experts, and they quickly reached the central plaza. There was a huge execution stand there, with cloud bound to it. There was a cold axe head over its head. It was a divine item. Cloud. When Yu Zifeng saw Cloud's current state, his eyes turned icy cold with killing intent. Now that he saw Cloud in person, he noticed that its state was even more miserable than what the photographic jade revealed. Yu Zifeng clenched his fists tightly, and the veins on his forehead bulged. These people had gone too far. They were tormenting Cloud. Let's save Cloud now. Bao Buping and Chang Hao both had explosive tempers. When they had first met on the battlefield, Cloud had been like a divine stead, fighting alone against Ji Yui Yan's ghost general. Just how majestic had it been? Now it had fallen into its current state, and that immediately provoked their fury. Since everyone here has come for the dragon slaughtering convention, then find a good seat for yourself. Don't make any stupid moves, or you might draw a killer to yourself. Just at this moment, a cold shout rang out from the distance. The how character is composed of an upper and lower part, and is kind of like fuck the heavens. Very domineering. Definitely the style of a sovereign. Chapter 1545 Low Level Technique Translator Born to be following the voice, Yu Zifeng saw a very loathsome face. That face was recognizable by all. It was the face of the host of the Dragon Slaughtering Convention, Sha Guangyan. That face had been spread throughout every corner of the Eastern Xuan region. Although that face wasn't very good to look at, everyone recognized it. Eliminate him. Bao Buping glared at him. He and Chang Hao had an urge to kill him right now. The scenes in the photographic jade had been too fateful. Don't be impetuous. Wait for boss to come, said Yu Zifeng. Now was not the time to take rash action. Since their opponents dared to let them in, they had to have countless traps arranged. If they did anything now, they would only suffer. But, Cloud, it, Bao Buping looked at Cloud who was on its last breaths. We can't save Cloud. The chains piercing its body are backed by divine runes. This entire execution stand is a true divine item. Those chains have not only chained Cloud's body, but have also chained its soul. Even if we were able to drag Cloud's body off, Cloud's soul will be pulled out of it. It's a very insidious torture device, said Xia Yanchang gloomily. It's that vicious? Then doesn't that mean it's impossible to save Cloud? Raged Bao Buping. Yes, unless Meng Chi comes. With her great soul energy. She can suppress the spiritual hooks of these chains. Otherwise, even if boss comes, he won't necessarily be able to save Cloud, said Yu Zifeng. When it came to matters of the soul, Meng Chi was the most skilled out of them. 
Yu Zifeng looked back at the unconscious cloud and turned away. Let's go. We'll find a place to wait for boss. Only then did Bao Buping and the others see that the surroundings of the execution stand, the huge plaza, was split into three regions. The side where Sha Guangyan was at had thousands of experts present, and they were staring coldly at them. On the other side of the execution stand was an empty space. That place had clearly been arranged for Long Chen. Between the two sides were a few individuals. The very design of the plaza had clearly taken this arrangement into consideration. Sha Guangyan's side had the most people. His side was full of people who viewed Long Chen as an enemy and were ready to kill him. As for the people in the middle, they were neutral. They hadn't come with any intention of helping either side. This was something smart by Sha Guangyan. It allowed the experts who were hesitating and didn't know which side to join to also come. In Long Chen's region, there were only five isolated figures standing. Bao Buping looked left and right and directly sat on his butt. Xia Yanchong had already taken out a blanket from his spatial ring and placed it down. This is good. It'll be quieter Yu Zifeng sat and closed his eyes, seeming to enter a meditative state. On the other hand, Bao Buping and Chang Hao were unable to sit still. They were looking at the people on the other side. They were clearly appraising just how many tough opponents there were over there. Up on the stage, Sha Guangyan smiled. To his left was Peng Wanshang, while to his right was Yi King Kuang. Yi King Kuang's expression was still gloomy because of Yu Zifeng's sword. That exchange had lost him face. Yu Zifeng's arrival is good. I was really worried Long Chen wouldn't come. Then all our arrangements would have gone to waste, said Sha Guangyan. Peng Wanshang nodded. Since Yu Zifeng has come, it means Long Chen's definitely going to come. This time, he'll definitely die. We'll finally be able to wipe away our disgrace. There was a faint divine mark glowing on Peng Wanchen's forehead. He had reached a new level since his last fight against Long Chen. After condensing his Yuan spirit to a certain extent, Peng Wanchen had awakened more divine abilities of the ancient races. He was prepared to personally defeat Long Chen. Sha Guangyan smiled. Don't worry, as long as Long Chen comes, he'll definitely die. This will be his burial ground. The fact that Yu Zifeng and the others were here set their minds at ease. They had absolute confidence in their arrangements. Time passed bit by bit. The day slowly darkened, but lanterns kept the plaza bright. More and more experts arrived. Tomorrow at noon, the dragon slaughtering convention would officially begin. A few geniuses with a certain level of status or who viewed themselves highly hadn't wanted to come too early. However, if they still didn't come now, they wouldn't have a good place for themselves when the show started. So now was the perfect time to arrive. These people either joined Sha Guangyan's side or the neutral side. No one came to Long Chen's side. They still had only five people. Long Chen's side only has five pieces of trash? How a rank 9 celestial was in the midst of mocking Bao Buping and the others when a cold light pierced his head. He collapsed on the ground dead, with an expression of disbelief frozen on his face. A sword slowly returned to its sheath. Yu Zifeng hadn't even opened his eyes. Standing in the neutral camp yet intentionally provoking us. Your schemes are obvious. The experts standing in the neutral camp couldn't help but frown upon seeing one of them be killed just for saying something provocative. But when they heard Yu Zifeng's words, they understood. Those standing in the neutral camp had come just to watch, or were people who didn't wish to curry favor with Sha Guangyan and the others, yet also didn't want to become hostile with Long Chen. For someone in the neutral camp to suddenly try to provoke them, it was clear he had set himself there on purpose. It was to push the neutral camp's people closer to the other camp. However, Yu Zifeng hadn't given him a chance to carry out his scheme. Yu Zifeng had killed him in one attack. Everyone understood what he was doing. As expected of the murderous Devil King's subordinate. You're all so vicious. Are you provoking the neutral camp's warriors? Or are you so arrogant that you don't give a damn about all the experts in the world and think you can kill them all? We won't stand for this. Another expert from the neutral camp spoke out. His tone was very sharp as he attempted to provoke the neutral camp's anger. Yu Zifeng's conduct truly did feel a bit like a slap in the face. Don't we us? This is the neutral camp. We came to watch, and we aren't backing any side before the truth is clear. 
Don't think we're brainless fools that are so easy to fool. If we were, we'd have already chosen a side. So those people scheming to draw trouble for us should hurry up and scram. A white-robed man with a scholar's band on his head and a white fan immediately counterattacked. The scholarly man was handsome and was clearly opinionated. He wouldn't be so easily shaken by others. The person who had criticized Yu Zifan frowned, glaring at the white-robed man. He was just about to speak when he was suddenly kicked away by others. Hurry up and scram. Stop faking. Do you think we're fools? Clearly, people weren't so easy to trick. Just the fact that he would randomly try to provoke Yu Zifeng and the others exposed him completely. No one liked the feeling of being used. Many of them had almost been tricked, and they were angry now. Yu Zifeng was a bit surprised and looked at the white-robed man. He hadn't expected someone to actually speak up for them. This person actually did not submit to force and had some brains. His sense of righteousness was something only a few people had. The white-robed man also had a certain level of fame. Quite a few people recognized him. The white-robed man suddenly said, I should have stood on the side opposing Long Chen as I really dislike him. He's too tyrannical and vicious. Ignoring whether or not he was wrongly accused. The way he slaughters fellow experts of the righteous path is not the conduct of a noble character. However, I chose to be neutral because some people are just even more despicable and shameless. Tormenting the weak to force others to fight. Long Chen might not be noble, but some people are even viler. An uproar exploded. This person had huge guts to say such a thing. Did he not want his life anymore? Sha Guanggian, Pen Wanshang, and Yi King Kuang's expressions turned dark. Their gazes were as sharp as a blade. This person really is tired of living. Sha Guanggian's voice came from between the cracks of his teeth. This person was just a rank 9 celestial. Although he had some fame, as long as the three of them attacked, he wouldn't be able to receive a single blow. Unfortunately, they couldn't attack. When they had arranged for there to be a neutral camp, they had openly stated that the people there could refuse to help either side, and that no one would make things hard on them for that. The white-robed man was simply explaining his position and hadn't directly provoked them. They had no excuse to attack him. Just the fact that they had captured and tormented the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow was a loss of face. If they broke their promise and killed that person, they would lose all their reputation. It's fine. Let him be arrogant for now. Once the dragon slaughtering convention is over, we'll kill that bastard, said Peng Wanshang. Everyone stared in shock at the white-robed man's righteous appearance. He seemed indifferent to death and said whatever he wanted despite the overwhelming power on the other side. They all felt a trace of admiration for him. However, just at this moment, a group of people slowly walked in. When people saw the leader of this new group, they all let out startled cries. Chapter 1546 The Domineering Xuan Beast Race Translator Born to be in terms of appearance, that person didn't look that different from a normal person. However. He was a giant, almost six meters tall. He was also very muscular, and with each step he took, people felt the ground trembling. This giant had powerful, sharp eyes and dark red hair that stood up like needles. He wore steel hoops on his wrists. As his arms moved, space rumbled. They their experts from the Xuan beasts. The Xuan beasts were the ancestors of the ancient races. They had once mated with the human race, resulting in the ancient races. However, later the human race had declined, and the Xuan beasts had stopped having relations with them. They also rarely interacted with the ancient races, but the ancient races always said that they were the descendants of the Xuan beasts while rejecting their human ancestry. That resulted in rumors saying that they had a certain relationship. As for this time, the rumors said that it was the Xuan beasts that had captured Cloud. It was only thanks to Peng Wancheng's connection to them that the Xuan beasts had moved to capture Cloud and force out Long Chen. Now that this large man appeared, everyone's heart shook. Did this mean the Xuan beasts were about to join in on this matter? If that was really the case, then Long Chen's death was even more assured. This expert was a true Xuan beast. After reaching the 10th rank, Xuan beasts were able to transform into human form at will. They could also return to their original form whenever they wanted to, such as in battle. 
the most powerful aspect of the Xuan beasts was their terrifyingly powerful physical bodies, as well as their great longevity. After reaching the 10th rank, they would spend most of their time in human form. After all, humans were the most spiritual of all creatures. In human bodies, they were able to feel a closer connection to the heavenly deos. Before reaching the 10th rank, the Xuan beasts would cultivate their innate divine abilities. After reaching the 10th rank, they began cultivating the heavenly deos, which made their divine abilities even more terrifying. The 10th rank was a dividing line amongst Xuan beasts. Behind the large man were another eight experts with intimidating bodies. Although they weren't as large as the first man, they were still giant compared to humans. Their blood chi looked like it might explode at any moment. Their bodies possessed unimaginable destructive power. The leader of this group had only just arrived when Pen Wanchen rushed over in front of him, bowing. Big brother Hu Shaolin, Junior Pen Wanchen greets you. This expert was from the Darkwing Devil Tiger race. All the Xuan beasts of each race had one surname. So the Tiger races were all surnamed Hu, and the Eagle races were all surnamed Ying. The ancient races followed the same tradition. Only by acting the same as the Xuan beasts could they feel a sense of belonging. Hu Xiaolin's name had the meaning of a tiger roaring through the forest, scaring away all other beasts. He was the number one junior expert of the Darkwing Devil Tiger race. He truly had the power to be a tiger that intimidated all others. Hmm, you're not bad. Once you start to awaken, you can rejoin my Xuan beasts, said Hu Shaolin. Pen Wanchen was delighted to receive Hu Xiaolin's praise. Many thanks, big brother Shaolin. Come, let me introduce you. These two are who Shaolin waved his hand. Why does Long Chen's side have so few people? Are you sure Long Chen will come? Clearly, who Shaolin didn't care about the others and was only willing to speak to Pen Wanshang. One reason was because of his bloodline, while another was because of his potential. As for the others, he didn't care about them. That was the arrogance of the Xuan beasts. Sha Guangyan immediately felt awkward, while Yi King Kuang was angry but didn't dare express it. After all, the one he was facing was a giant man like a steel tower. Even Yi King Kuang, who specialized in power, was tense. Hu Shaolin was giving him a feeling of immense pressure. Pen Wancheng said, Big Brother Shaolin, don't worry, everything's been arranged. One of those people is even one of the Dragonblood Legion's members. Since one has come, the rest are certain to come. Hu Shaolin nodded. He suddenly turned to the white-robed man amongst the neutral camp. He indifferently said, Just now, I heard you shouting from a distance. It was very irritating. I'll bestow you with death. Hu Shaolin raised a finger. A black light pierced toward the white-robed man. In that instant, everyone felt their bodies become heavy. It was like space had frozen, making it so that they couldn't move. The black light pierced the white-robed man in the head. He collapsed, his soul dissipating. He was unable to resist at all. How can you randomly kill others? The white-robed man's death immediately provoked the neutral camp's fury. They all began to shout at Hu Shaolin. The white-robed man had had a certain level of fame amongst them. Although he was just a rank 9 celestial, his toughness had won him their admiration. But Hu Shaolin had killed him as soon as he arrived. So what if you're from the Xuan beasts? Brother Balin never provoked you. All he did was express his viewpoint. Why did you kill him? The neutral camp's people were all infuriated. Since they had chosen to stand amongst the neutral camp, they hadn't come with any attention to provoke anyone. However, someone had still provoked them. Are you trying to force us to stand with you? That's completely unreasonable. Thousands of experts were roaring. Hu Shaolin had gone too far. His arrogant expression was especially insufferable. He had even said he was bestowing death upon him, as if it was his blessing, as if it was charity. Hu Shaolin let out a single roar. It was like thunder, shaking their ears and causing them to totter. Their ears began to bleed. It seems the Xuan beasts have been silent for too long. Even the inferior human race dares to challenge us? Since you want to die, I'll bestow you all with death. Hu Shaolin pointed his finger again, and a black light shot out at the rank 9 celestial who had criticized him for randomly killing people. The black light froze space. Heavenly Dao energy suppressed everyone, making it impossible for them to move. 
That person turned pale. In front of Hu Shaolin, he had no ability to resist. He could only stare as death came. Bang. Just as everyone thought he was definitely dead, sword light streaked through the air, breaking the restrictions of space. It struck the black light, causing it to explode. It seems the Xuan beasts are only capable of bullying the weak. You're not even on the same level as my boss. My boss doesn't bully people like this. But if he has to bully someone, he'll only bully the strongest. You are a far cry from him. Everyone turned to see Yu Zifeng sheathing his sword and coldly staring at the distant Hu Shaolin. Everyone was stunned. Unexpectedly, the one to save this person was the Dragonblood Legion's Yu Zifeng. Even when he was surrounded by enemies, he had helped save others. That move's not bad. However, even if you cultivated for a thousand years, you wouldn't be able to stand on the same level as the Xuan beasts. It seems you feel like you're very powerful? Good. Then I'll let you experience the true divine abilities of the Xuan beast so you can die in peace. Hu Shaolin pointed his finger at Yu Zifeng. His finger, which was practically as thick as a regular person's wrist, had a black rune on it that rapidly transformed into a black sphere. The sphere grew larger, instantly becoming three meters wide. Everyone's expressions changed as they sensed death from it. Yu Zifeng stared coldly. For the first time, his expression became grave. He leaned forward slightly, his right hand reached for his sword hilt. A sharp aura slowly rose, like a peerless divine item was about to shed its rust and reveal its light. Everyone held their breath as the two of them accumulated power. The dragon slaughtering convention hadn't even started, but a fight was about to erupt. Suddenly, the melodious sound of a zither rang out. The atmosphere, which had been as tense as a taut bowstring, slowly relaxed. The terrifying heavenly Tao energy and murderous aura vanished. Hu Ziyadalan's sphere dissipated. Hu Ziyadalan's expression changed, and he hastily looked into the distance. As for Yu Zifeng, seeing Hu Ziyadalan's attack had been ruined, he also pulled back his own aura, looking in the same direction. Several lithe, veiled women holding zithers were stepping through the air lightly. The woman at the front gently plucked her zither, as she played. Everyone's hearts relaxed and warmed. Just now, the city had been about to be turned into a battlefield. But as the sound of the zither spread, the world became peaceful. Their fear, their hatred, they were all cleansed. Junior Zi Yan of the elusive music Immortal Palace greets everyone. The women stopped once they got close. Then, the woman at the front opened her mouth. Her voice was even more moving than her zither. This woman was Zi Yan, but she was wearing a veil again making it so no one could recognize her at first. Once she spoke though, it caused huge waves. The elusive music Immortal Palace was a famous existence within the entire Martial Heaven continent. So it's the elusive music Immortal Palace's zither fairy. No wonder you have such power. But I wonder, what exactly are you intending by doing this? Hu Shaolin had long since guessed Zi Yan's identity. Other than the elusive music Immortal Palace's zither fairy. No one else could use the music Tao to disturb the heavenly Deos and silently dissipate his attack. The name of the Zither Fairy was famous within the Martial Heaven continent. The Zither Fairy cultivated the Tao of heavenly music. From a young age, she had roamed around the continent, causing her name to spread. However, the Zither Fairy was known for being kind and peaceful. She never fought against others. Now that she had interrupted Hu Ziyadalan's attack, it caused him to feel shocked but also angry. I don't have any intentions. I simply hope you can release this pitiful cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Zi Yan pointed to cloud on the execution stand. Everyone was shocked. Even Yu Zifeng and the others. Had Zi Yan actually come to help Long Chen? Chapter 1547 Powerful Enemies Arrive Translator Born to be Zither Fairy Are you doing this for Long Chen? Hu Ziyadalan's gaze immediately became as sharp as a blade. Zi Yan shook her head. I'm not here for Long Chen. I simply feel that you are going too far. There's no need to torment it. I won't mention the chains piercing its body, but to even pierce its soul with your chains is too much. Zither Fairy, I respect you because you have the elusive music Immortal Palace behind you. However, if you want to become enemies with us, then please go ahead and make your move. Interrupted Shaguangian. Shaguangian. Pen Wansheng. 
and Yi King Kuang all intensely disliked Zi Yan. Back then, outside the eastern Xuan city, they had tried to block her carriage, and Yi King Kuang had been slapped in the face by her. Sha Guanggian's group of three stood behind Hu Shaolin, staring coldly at Zi Yan. The atmosphere instantly grew tense again. The Zither Fairy was known to be the elusive music Immortal Palace's number one genius. Ever since she was young, she had been nurtured with only the best resources. Although practically no one had ever seen her fight, the fact that she had slapped Ji King Kuang across the face had shaken the Eastern Xuan region. Rumor was that she was also a terrifying Empyrean. If they really fought, it would be a heaven-shaking battle. It seems you've misunderstood my intentions. In truth, I don't want to witness this battle. I can practically already foresee the ending. Zi Yan looked at Sha Guanggian and the others, and she couldn't help but feel some pity for them, as well as profoundly helpless. So, I hope we can avoid this battle. That will save more lives. Ha ha ha. Sha Guanggian laughed loudly before coldly saying, What a joke. Avoid this battle? Zither Fairy, you're wrong. This isn't a battle, it's a trial. A trial of justice against evil. Long Chen betrayed the human race by colluding with the spirit world's demons. He slaughtered his fellow humans. Then, upon returning to the continent, instead of submitting himself to justice to pay for his sins, he destroyed his own sect along with dozens of other sects. The heavens are enraged, and so is humanity. Without killing him, there's no way to appease the anger of the people. Without killing him, there's no way to appease the heavens. Zi Yan shook her head. She couldn't be bothered to reply to his impassioned play. Since you insist, I won't say any more words. I just hope you won't regret this. After saying that, Zi Yan walked to a side of the plaza. That was the neutral camp. She had already expressed her viewpoint and said what she had come to say. She had done all she had to do. Now she calmly acted as a spectator. Big sister. This scene is strikingly similar to what happened in the eastern wasteland back then, said a woman beside Zi Yan. This woman was precisely the Yu Tong who had gone with Zi Yan to the eastern wasteland as a tempering experience. She had also become a powerful expert, but now she sighed emotionally over her memories. Yes, the eastern wasteland's Qing prefecture, the discussion of the Tao in the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion, and Mu Zhu's capture before the hidden dragon abode. Zi Yan looked into the distance, also seemingly lost in her memories. Could this be faked? It's like another cycle. But this time, the scale is even more terrifying thinking of when she had first gotten to know Long Chen. Zi Yan was filled with emotion. She was a genius the elusive music Immortal Palace had gone all out raising. Her path had been easy, and her cultivation base had progressed like it had wings. On the other hand, Long Chen hadn't been raised by anyone. He had relied on his own power to forge ahead, and yet he had maintained a similar cultivation speed. One of them was flying in the sky, while one was running on the ground. The one of the ground had swaths of water to swim through, thousands of mountains blocking his path, but she was unable to throw him off at all. She had the great support of the powerful elusive music Immortal Palace, while Long Chen had nothing. He could only rely on himself, and yet he had still reached his current height. There was probably no way to imagine how much he had paid to do that. Big sister, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow is so pitiful. Can you save it? Asked Yu Tong. She couldn't help feeling pain upon seeing a divine steed-like existence be tormented into this state. I can't. Sha Guanggian is extremely vicious. Those chains aren't ordinary. Just now, I tried testing them, but he stopped me. He clearly saw through what I was doing which was why he interrupted me just now. However, that only confirms my guess, said Zi Yan helplessly. Once Long Chen arrives, he's going to go crazy. What will you choose to do? Will you still stand to the side, or will you kill Long Chen? Asked Yu Tong with a complicated expression. I don't know. Zi Yan shook her head. Her eyes were pained. Yu Tong looked at the pain in her eyes and couldn't help feeling bad for her. She shut her mouth no longer saying anymore. Hu Shaolin also didn't say anything upon seeing that Zi Yan didn't cause any more trouble. Instead, he was led to the front of the plaza by Peng Wansheng. Someone had already prepared a special large seat for him, 
Everyone had only just sat down when a new group of people walked in. This group didn't have the slightest aura or heavenly Tao fluctuations. However, there was a certain killing intent lingering on their bodies that seemed to not exist at the same time. It gave others a bone-chilling feeling, as if they were specters that had floated out of hell. The blood kill halls people have come as well. In this world, only the blood kill halls assassins had this ability to completely conceal their auras. Isn't that blood kill one? Even he came. Some people recognized the handsome man standing at the front. They had seen him appear in the eastern Xuan city. However, their group was lacking that mysterious girl now. Bloodkill One was standing at the very front. Bloodkill One was also an Empyrean, and a very terrifying one at that. Because he was an assassin, if he hid in the dark, only a few people in the entire world could survive his attack. Assassins were the most hated but also most feared existence. Bloodkill One led a group of experts from the Bloodkill Hall forward. He first looked at the opposing side composed of Yu Zifeng and the others. A faint smile appeared on his face. That smile was very calm, and it was unknown what he was thinking. Bloodkill One's gaze passed across Yu Zifeng to Zi Yan. He paused slightly at Zi Yan before slowly walking toward Sha Guangyan's side. Sha Guangyan nodded to Bloodkill One. He made space for him, having them sit in a core spot with them to express their respect. The Bloodkill Hall's people were not fit for society. They essentially never revealed themselves in the open. They didn't like interacting with others. So they also didn't speak with them. Hu Shaolin and the other Xuan beasts didn't even glance at them, acting like they hadn't seen them. As time passed, more and more experts entered the city. However, the majority of them chose to enter Sha Guangyan's camp. They had truly come for the dragon slaughtering part. There was also a small portion who joined the neutral camp. Originally, the neutral camp was split into two sides around the execution stand. But now the side that Zi Yan was at had more people. Clearly people preferred standing near her. Just getting close to a fairy was a kind of honor. While the main reason was that it was safe. The sky brightened. There were still four hours until noon. Which was the official start of the dragon slaughtering convention. At that time. The axe head would fall and cut off the head of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow to complete the ceremony. That was why more and more people were arriving right before noon. Experts tended to be arrogant and cold, so they only came right on time. As a result, during this time, another seven Empyreans arrived. Six of them joined Sha Guangyan's camp, while one joined the neutral camp. As more and more experts arrived in the Grand Han's capital, people finally experienced why people were saying that the Great Era was coming. There were over ten Empyreans and tens of thousands of rank 9 celestials. There were close to a million rank 8 celestials. This dragon slaughtering convention had drawn out all the heavenly geniuses of the eastern Xuan region. The normally arrogant rank 9 celestials were completely drowned out by other geniuses here. They no longer felt high and above. They felt themselves to be ordinary. Boom. Suddenly, the city shook and startled cries rang out. An evil air exploded in the distance when a group of people walked over. It was a group of 30-some people. They were all at least rank 9 celestials. While their leader was a tall, scrawny man. His clothes were tattered like he was a beggar. He held a wine gourd in his hand and gulped down large mouthfuls as he walked. However, people saw that what was dripping out of the corner of his mouth wasn't wine, but blood. The most frightening thing was that it wasn't the blood of magical beasts. It was the essence blood of humans. Only the essence blood had spiritual yuan fluctuations. A scent of rot and decay filled everyone's noses. People almost wanted to vomit. Corrupt experts. People whispered between themselves. What were corrupt experts doing here? The righteous experts all clenched their weapons. Glaring at these corrupt experts. The dragon slaughtering convention's only target is the fiend known as Long Chen. Everyone should put down your previous enmities. Today, both sides will mind their own businesses, announced Sha Guangyan. Bullshit. The enmity between the corrupt path and the righteous path is as deep as a sea. We are like water and fire. Who can guarantee that they won't start killing us in the middle of the convention? Shouted someone. I can. Suddenly, everyone saw a group wearing Pill Valley's robes walking over. The leader was surrounded by flowing flame runes. 
and an intense heat caused the space around him to twist. He was like a god of fire walking in the mortal world. All the world's flame energy was kneeling to him. My Pill Valley can guarantee that as long as you don't attack the corrupt path, the corrupt path will not attack you. Today, we are united against just one enemy. Long Chen, said that flame wrapped expert. Chapter 1548 Something's happened translator. Born to be as soon as Pill Valley's experts appeared, everyone's heart shook. A corner of the truth had finally been exposed. Perhaps this dragon slaughtering convention was actually arranged by Pill Valley from behind the scenes. Pill Valley, the corrupt path, the Xuan beasts, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the blood kill hall, as well as the righteous paths experts were all gathered. This was a true nest of dragons and tigers. Would Long Chen really dare to come? I seem to recall a rumor that Pill Valley's Flame Divine Hall has produced a genius who possessed a mythic flame constitution at birth. Could it be that he's Yan Weishan? Cried out a certain expert. The others simply stared blankly. They had never heard of an expert with such a name. However, the flame fluctuations coming from this person were extremely terrifying. He seemed to be one with heaven and earth. His heavenly Tao power was something only an Empyrean could possess. As for that mythic flame constitution, there were very few flame cultivators present and even fewer who knew what that was. Yan Weishan's words caused the experts who were clenching their weapons to slowly lower them. However, there were still many people glaring at the corrupt experts. What? Do you not trust my pill valley? Demanded Yan Weishan coldly as he stared at those people. It's not a matter of trust. We all have enmity with the corrupt path. My master and my senior apprentice brothers all died miserably to the hands of the corrupt path. Now you want us to be peaceful? That's impossible, said a rank 9 celestial with a dark expression. He was clearly filled with hatred toward the corrupt path. That's right. We can't accept working together with the corrupt path. They have to scram, shouted another expert from the neutral camp. Quite a few people began to echo similar sentiments. The enmity between the righteous and corrupt paths was simply too deep. Many of them had people close to them, family or friends, die to the corrupt path. They couldn't even sit with them. Based on your robes, you should be a disciple of the Spirit Heart Pavilion. Correct? Your pavilion master will blame you for this kind of conduct, said Yan Weishan with a deeper meaning. Ha ha ha, Yan Weishan, are you threatening me? Fine, that disciple actually stood and in front of countless shocked gazes, walked over to Yu Zifeng's side. Is he crazy? Everyone was shocked. Originally, they had thought that he would storm off in a huff, but he actually chose to join Long Chen's camp. Courting death, Yan Weishan's expression immediately turned cold. This was clearly a slap in Pill Valley's face. In truth, Yan Weishan was a pure flame cultivator. He was extremely powerful and had been hidden by the Flame Divine Palace the entire time. If it weren't for the Dragon Slaughtering Convention, Pill Valley would never have sent out a hidden expert like him. However, just because he was strong didn't mean he was eloquent. The Flame Divine Palace was full of flame cultivators with fiery tempers. That was why Yan Weishan had automatically threatened this disciple. This disciple was just a rank 8 celestial, but he hated the corrupt path. In his fury and under Yan Weishan's threat, he walked over to Yu Zifeng's side, ignoring whether Long Chen is a good or bad person, ignoring whether or not he was wrongly accused. The thing I admire most about him is that he never lowers his head to anyone. I, Luo Kingxiao, might just be a minor character in your eyes, but a minor character has a minor character's dignity. I hate the corrupt path, and it's just that simple. If I were to submit to your Pill Valley's tyranny, my master, my senior apprentice brothers, they would definitely look down on me. So I will stand here. It's not for anything else other than that I can't be on the same side as the corrupt path. If a battle really starts, I won't be anyone else's enemy, but I will immediately attack the degenerates of the corrupt path. The worst case is just death, said that young disciple. Good, you're a man. Bao Buping was the first to clap and express his praise. This person looked weak but he had tough bones. I'll also support that. I'm not going to stand together with the trash of the corrupt path. Experts began to walk over to their side one by one. 
Standing beside Luo Kingxiao in Long Chen's camp, hundreds of experts ended up moving, causing an uproar. Nothing more than a pack of weaklings. I could exterminate you all with a wave of my hand. The head corrupt expert gulped down two mouthfuls of wine and walked over to Sha Guangyan's side. Sha Guangyan had already ordered people to open a space for the corrupt experts. When they came, many of the righteous experts retreated a certain distance. Some people even directly left, going outside the city. If it weren't for Pill Valley, those people might have really joined Long Chen's camp. The enmity between the righteous and corrupt paths was just too deep. On the other hand, the ancient races, the Blood Kill Hall, and the Xuan Beasts minded their own businesses when it came to the corrupt path. They were able to remain indifferent to each other's existence. Whether it was Blood Kill One, the corrupt expert, or Pill Valley's Yan Weishan coming, the Xuan Beasts Hu Shaolin hadn't opened his eyes the entire time. He didn't even glance at them. The leader of the corrupt experts glanced at Hu Shaolin coldly and didn't say anything. He also sat down. Sha Guangyan, are you sure Long Chen will come? I, Jin Mingwei, was forcibly summoned out of seclusion for this. If Long Chen doesn't come, I'll cut off your three heads and use your essence blood to make up for the loss, said that tattered corrupt expert. His gaze was just like a hungry magical beast who had seen flesh. Sha Guangyan, Yi King Kuang, and Pen Wancheng's expressions changed. This Jin Mingwei was too savage. He didn't even place them in his eyes, including all three of them in his threat. The three of them were about to release their auras when Hu Shaolin slowly opened his eyes and stared at Jin Mingwei. Don't try to anger me in such a roundabout way. If you want to die, then I'll help you out once this matter's over. Once Hu Shaolin said this, people quickly realized that Jin Mingwei's goal in insulting the three of them was to challenge Hu Shaolin. After all, Pen Wancheng was a genius of the ancient races, and the Xuan beasts intended on accepting him amongst their ranks. For Jin Mingwei to provoke them was clearly also challenging Hu Shaolin. Ha ha ha, alright, good, then let's fight after the dragon slaughtering convention. Let me experience the Xuan beasts' divine abilities, and whether or not they are as strong as they were in legend, laughed Jin Mingwei. He laughed loudly, but his eyes didn't have the slightest smiling expression. They seemed crazy. My Pill Valley won't bother with you if you want to battle, but I hope you won't start a conflict during the Dragon Slaughtering Convention, said Yan Weishan. The two of them snorted and didn't reply. Experts had their own pride, and they didn't want to make such a promise. Yan Weishan narrowed his eyes. The flame runes deep within his eyes began to revolve, causing his fellow experts from the Flame Divine Hall to jump in shock. They were profoundly aware of how explosive Yan Weishan was. Flame cultivators had the most explosive tempers and so they immediately pulled him aside. Experts, in general, didn't have good tempers. They might start fighting as soon as they found someone displeasing to the eye. If it weren't for the fact that fighting amongst themselves before Long Chen even arrived would make them laughing stocks to the world, they might have already begun fighting. Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin and Jin Mingwei represented Pill Valley, the Xuan Beasts, and the Corrupt Path respectively. They all represented their own sides, and they didn't want to submit to anyone. That resulted in a battle almost erupting between them. Hmm? Why is that person allowed in? If my senses aren't wrong, he's just a trash rank 5 celestial. The three of them had just calmed down when a startled cry rang out. Everyone looked at the city gates to see a man wearing azure robe slowly walk in. If this person was a rank 9 celestial, people wouldn't even bother glancing at him. However, he was a rank 5 celestial. Aren't rank 7 celestials and below not qualified to enter the city? Is this person not afraid of being slapped to death by others? Slapped to death? Do you realize a single word from him will result in you not living to see tomorrow? If you come out to experience the world, you can lack knowledge, but you can't lack common sense. That person's the existence in charge of all the Eastern Xuan region's auction houses. His status is so high that no one dares to provoke him. The person who had come was Zheng Wenlong. However, today, he didn't have any attendants or guards. He walked in alone, a single person. Zheng Wenlong's arrival caused Yan Weishan's expression to change slightly. As mortal enemies, the person he wanted to see the least was him. Zheng Wenlong, 
This isn't a place you can enter, shouted Yan Weishan. Who are you? Oh, I see. There's no need to report your name. As a businessman, I don't like fighting with others. As for whether or not this is a place I can enter, since I'm already here, don't you think saying such a thing is meaningless? As long as there are people, there will be business. And as long as there's business, there will naturally be my Huai Insects businessmen. When it comes to catching business opportunities, we are serious, said Zheng Wenlong with a faint smile. After saying that, Zheng Wenlong looked over the plaza and then walked directly to Yu Zifeng's side, causing an uproar. What? The Huai Insect has yet to express their attitude toward Long Chen over this matter. What is he doing? Is he really supporting Long Chen? If that's the case, this matter's really going to get huge. Is the Huai Insect and Pill Valley's hidden battle about to become an open one? People were all shocked. If Pill Valley and the Huai Insect started a real open fight, then the entire Martial Heaven continent would change. One controlled 90% of the continent's medicinal pill supply, while the other controlled almost 100% of the auction house business. If these two enormous existences were to clash, the heavens of the Martial Heaven continent would transform. Don't be nervous. I'm just an errand boy. I'm just here to give you something. Zheng Wenlong arrived in front of Yu Zifeng and handed over a case. Yu Zifeng was confused. He received it along with Zheng Wenlong's spiritual message. Long Chen says that something has happened. You should do your best to stall for time. After handing the case to Yu Zifeng, Zheng Wenlong turned and left, leaving a plaza full of confused expressions. Chapter 1549 The Dragonblood Legion Descends Translator Born to be after giving Yu Zifeng something, Zheng Wenlong directly left. Everyone wondered what the meaning behind that action was. Yu Zifeng opened the case and saw an emerald leaf flowing with light. Yu Zifeng only glanced at it before putting it away. The instant that he opened the case, practically everyone's divine sense stretched out to see what was inside. However, when they saw it was just a leaf, they retracted it. Yu Zifeng's expression didn't change, but waves were surging in his heart. Something had happened to Long Chen, so he was unable to come on time. There were still two hours until noon. The official start of the dragon slaughtering convention. He had to stall them until Long Chen could get here. Time passed bit by bit. Sha Guangyan and the others were waiting patiently at first, but as time ticked down, they saw that Long Chen's side still only had Yu Zifeng's group of five. Although quite a few others had gone over to Yu Zifeng's side, Yu Zifeng had gracefully turned them down, telling them to retreat. His reason was simple. When a battle started, they should make sure to maintain a safe distance. The time arrived. Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion never showed up, causing Sha Guangyan to grow uneasy. After all, he was the host of the Dragon Slaughtering Convention. If Long Chen didn't come, then this convention would have been held for nothing. Suddenly, the noon bell struck, but Long Chen still didn't appear. Everyone looked at each other. Could it be that Long Chen really didn't dare to come and was allowing Sha Guangyan to kill his steed? Don't worry, my boss will quickly arrive. He already sent me a message that he's on his way. Yu Zifeng took out a communication talisman. Sha Guangyan didn't have any ideas at the moment. Everyone was just looking at each other. He stealthily asked Yan Weishan what to do. Wait, Yan Weishan's reply was curt. The dragon slaughtering convention's target was Long Chen. If Long Chen didn't come, then why would it still be called the Dragon Slaughtering Convention? HMPH. Is Long Chen afraid to come? Fine. Since he's on the way, we'll wait, announced Sha Guangyan. Everyone closed their eyes and began to wait once more. However, no matter how long they waited, the person they were waiting for never appeared. Yu Zifeng. Will Long Chen come or not? It's already been a full day and night. Finally. An ancient race expert lost his patience. If he was late, then just a few hours should have been enough. But it had been a full day. My boss just messaged me that he's sitting on a transportation formation to the eastern Xuan region. He should be here shortly, said Yu Zifeng. He's only just arriving in the eastern Xuan region? Impossible. What communication talisman can reach across the region's people's suspicions were raised. Who said my boss was across regions sneered Yu Zifeng, but inside, he grumbled. 
when it came to lying, he should let Guo Ran do it. He wasn't an expert in this and had instantly said something that exposed himself. He had forgotten that for normal communication talismans, their largest range would only be one region, and they would lose effect across regions. He had actually created such a large opening in his lies. Inside, he was also anxious. How was it that Long Chen had still yet to arrive? Just what had happened? Perhaps he's in some minor world. Let's keep waiting, said Yan Weishan. He was also growing impatient, but there was no way around this. If Long Chen didn't come, then just killing Yu Zifeng and the others was meaningless. Since Long Chen's coming late, he should pay a price. Let's slaughter this brood. Its blood will definitely be very fresh, said the corrupt expert, Jin Mingwei. He licked his lips with his bright red tongue. A powerful fist smashed toward him. The Xuan beasts who Shaolin had actually attacked him. Jin Mingwei hadn't expected such a sudden attack. Seeing this huge fist coming at him, the blood runes circulating around him suddenly lit up, forming a huge barrier. Boom. The barrier exploded, filling the air with blood runes that looked like countless blood leeches. In the end, they returned to Jin Mingwei's body. Hu Ziaolin's attack and Jin Mingwei's block had occurred in just an instant. Both of them were blown back by the other's power. If the two of them hadn't been worried about their own people, it was unknown how many people would have died from the shockwaves of this one exchange. Everyone hastily flew away. Anyone close might get killed. Jin Mingwei, if you really can't wait any longer, I'll help you right now. If you don't know how to speak properly, then I'll teach you right now how to respect the Grand Xuan Beasts. Hu Ziaolin's hair was standing on end, and killing intent blazed in his eyes. Everyone jumped in shock, but hearing his words, they finally understood why he was angry. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows were viewed as traitors of the Xuan beasts for unknown reasons and were being hunted. However, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows were still Xuan beasts. For Jin Mingwei to call it a brute was insulting all the Xuan beasts. The other Xuan beasts also stood up. Some of them had already raised their weapons and glared at Jin Mingwei. It looked like if he said the wrong thing, they would immediately kill him. As for Jin Mingwei's corrupt experts, they had also raised their weapons. The atmosphere instantly grew tense. Hurry up and fight. He cursed you for being a brood. Are you going to let that stand? Kill him with a single punch, said Bao Buping, excitedly standing up. However, in the end, things didn't go according to his wishes. Pill Valley's Yan Weishan walked over to mediate things. Jin Mingwei, you went a bit too far. Apologize to Hu Shaolin, and we'll all let this matter go temporarily. Yan Weishan was smart to say that things would only be let go temporarily. His meaning was just to give face to him. If they wanted to fight, they could do it after the dragon slaughtering convention. There's no need. I'll remember your face. Once this is over, I will settle our debt, said Hu Shaolin arrogantly. He towered over Jin Mingwei as he was over twice his size. After saying that, Hu Shaolin sat down once more. He had already expressed his attitude, so there was no need for more words. Ha ha ha, I'll receive your challenge. Hopefully, your Xuan Beast's techniques won't disappoint me, laughed Jin Mingwei. He wasn't the slightest bit afraid. Instead, his eyes contained a bloodthirsty madness. Only upon seeing the two of them cease their hostilities did Yan Weishan also sit back down. At this time, Sha Guanggayan, Yi Qingkuang, and Pen Wancheng didn't even dare to make a sound. Only Bloodkill One had a faint smile on his face. The plaza became calm once more. Another day and night passed. Each time Yu Zifen was asked, he would reply that Long Chen would arrive soon. Finally, people were feeling like something was up. It felt like he was playing with them. Yu Zifeng, what are you doing? Are you planning on stalling for a lifetime? roared someone. Sha Guanggayan looked at Yan Weishan. Yan Weishan looked at Hu Shaolin. The three of them were clearly communicating spiritually. In the end, Hu Shaolin nodded. Sha Guanggayan suddenly flew out to the guillotine. Standing on top of Cloud's head, he coldly announced, Is Long Chen refusing to appear because he's waiting for reinforcements? Since he has the patience to wait for reinforcements, I'll be patient too. I'll prepare a gift he'll definitely appreciate. In front of all of you, 
I will pluck every last feather off the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow and then cut off its wings. If Long Chen really can endure that, then we'll continue waiting. Sha Guangyan lowered his hand. Just as he was about to pull the first feather, a sword came out of its sheath, and a cold light slashed toward Sha Guangyan. Having expected this, Sha Guangyan sneered. His sword, which was a divine item, unleashed a wave of light. Boom. Yu Zifeng's sword slashed onto Sha Guangyan's. Sha Guangyan was shocked to find that his heavenly Tao energy was cut apart by Yu Zifeng. He was sent flying. What the fact that Sha Guangyan was unable to block Yu Zifeng shocked everyone. Was Yu Zifeng really so powerful? Yu Zifeng appeared in the air, coldly looking at Sha Guangyan. Just keep courting death. If my boss were here, you'd have courted it properly. Do you think the only person in the Dragon Blood Legion is Long Chen? You're wrong. Other than boss, we also have a group of hot blooded brothers. A leaf appeared in Yu Zifeng's hand. This was the leaf that Zheng Wenlong had sent to him. Yu Zifeng crushed it, and emerald runes appeared in the air. The emerald runes revolved, causing space to shake. A divine light began to twist space, and a group of people slowly appeared. Before the others could even see who those people were, a terrifying killing intent exploded into existence. Ha ha ha, brats of the eastern Xuan region, your daddy Guo Ran has arrived. Tremble as much as you like. As soon as these people appeared, a voice that was arrogant to the peak drew everyone's attention. When the ripples faded, they revealed Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and the rest of the Dragon Blood Legion. Each of them had appeared, and they were all unleashing boundless killing intent. They were a terrifying Legion. Guo Ran stood at the front, truly appearing like an expert general looking down on others. However, when he saw Cloud, that arrogant expression vanished, replaced with endless fury. Meng Qi immediately teared up upon seeing Cloud's current plight, and she appeared in front of it, extended a hand. Ripples spread from her hand, spreading toward the chain's piercing Cloud. Upon seeing Meng Qi do this, a cruel smile appeared on Sha Guangyan's face. Chapter 1550 Guo Ran fights an Empyrean translator. Born to be just as Meng Qi tried to release Cloud from its chains, Black Qi surged out of the chains like vipers of death attempting to devour Meng Qi. Meng Qi both Chu Yao and Tang Wan'er let out a startled cry. This happened out of nowhere, and Meng Qi was already enveloped by the Black Qi. Divine light burst out of Meng Qi, and she flew back. However, there was a clump of Black Qi sticking to her forehead, trying to dig into her head. Meng Qi rapidly formed hand seals as she forced the Black Qi back. It's a curse. Startled cries rang out. Unexpectedly, the execution stand had a curse on it that would affect anyone who tried to save the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Seeing Meng Qi, who appeared like a heavenly fairy, be attacked by that sinister Black Qi, people couldn't help feeling pity. Even some of the neutral camp's experts felt Sha Guangyan was too despicable. Ha ha ha. You want to save the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow? Keep dreaming. None of you will be able to save it. Just watch as it's killed. Laughed Sha Guangyan. This move had originally been prepared for Long Chen. However, now that Hu Shaolin, Jin Mingwei, Yan Weishan, and all these other powerful experts had come, this trap was unnecessary. There's no need to fight it. This curse is something I made based on my corrupt path's hell world. Its power is not inferior to the underworld soul ghost curse at all. Your death is inevitable Jin Mingwei sneered. He was confident in this move of his. Bastards. You're all courting death. Gu Yang roared and was about to charge out when he was held back by Yu Zifeng. Don't worry. A minor curse is unable to do anything to me. Meng Qi's face was a bit pale. But she was still calm. The only thing in her eyes was killing intent. Seeing Cloud being tormented by them. She felt like a blade was stabbing her heart. She bitterly hated all these people. Now that the Dragonblood Legion had come, the air was taut with tension. Each of the Dragonblood warriors was glaring at Sha Guangyan and the others. As long as the order was given, they would charge out. The Dragonblood warriors were just waiting for Guo Ran. Long Chen had said that when he wasn't present, they were to listen to Guo Ran. Guo Ran was clenching his fists, his expression dark. 
Although he had been prepared since Long Chen had said that Cloud had been captured, he still hadn't expected them to be so vicious. He had an urge to immediately give the order to slaughter them all, but Yu Zifeng had just sent him a message, and he could only temporarily suppress his fury. HMPH, all you are is a mob. My boss is already on the way here. You think you're fit to make my boss fight? What a huge joke. Do you think being an Empyrean is so amazing? Today, I'm challenging you guys. Anyone who doesn't submit can come out and fight. Guo Ran flew out into the air and glared at the opposing experts. Meng Chi was being supported by Chu Yao and Tang Wanur. They and the rest of the Dragonblood warriors were retreating back to their camp. Although they were incomparably infuriated, they had no choice but to listen to Guo Ran's orders. Suddenly, a soft bird cry rang out from Cloud's mouth. Although that sound was very quiet, the pain within it was clear. Everyone's hearts shook. Cloud, don't be afraid. I will definitely save you. Menki's tears overflowed. Cloud was already hanging by a thread and unconscious. That sound was practically instinctual just from feeling her presence. The black chi on her forehead was still attacking her. Tang Wanner and Chu Yao both placed a hand on her back, helping Meng Chi block it with their spiritual strength. Even a minor rank 9 celestial dares to be so arrogant? Report your name. A person with a broadsword on his back flew out. The powerful heavenly Dao fluctuations coming from him showed he was a true Empyrean. Guo Ran. This time, Guo Ran wasn't in the mood to shout his slogan. He was overcome with hatred and a desire to kill these people. Since you've reported your name, you can die. The Empyrean suddenly unsheathed his broadsword and hacked it toward Guo Ran. The heavenly Dao energy in the air supported his attack while distancing itself from Guo Ran. Boom. A fiery red saber met the broadsword, blocking its path. What startled cries rang out. In an instant, Guo Ran had gone from an ordinary person to a metal monstrosity. He was covered in armor. His head, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, and other places were covered in sharp spikes. He truly appeared to be a sinister and fierce monster. His right hand was holding a saber that was blocking the Empyrean's attack, and he didn't budge at all in the face of an Empyrean's power. It seemed like it wasn't taxing for him to block an Empyrean's attack, as everyone, including the Empyrean, was filled with absolute shock. Another saber appeared in Guo Ran's left hand, and he slashed it at the Empyrean's waist. Bang! The Empyrean hastily blocked it with his broadsword and was sent flying. The power within Guo Ran's saber had felt like an exploding volcano, and he wasn't able to fully block it. Die! A metallic voice came from within the armor. Guo Ran's voice sounded strange and much more frightening with his armor on. His saber was like a shooting star as it streaked through the air. Countless runes appeared and saber light grew. The full power of an ancestral item was unleashed. The Empyrean roared, and his primal chaos manifestation exploded into existence. He slashed his broadsword into Guo Ran's saber, and an intense explosive sound rang out. As a result, he was once more blown back by Guo Ran. Guo Ran's power stems from his armor. He isn't affected by the heavenly Dao suppression. That Empyrean will naturally lose when he fights against him in brute power, said Gu Yang with a cold smile. Guo Ran's armor had been completely reworked. It was made of multiple ancestral items that had been forged by him and nourished by his soul. They were all extremely loyal to him, which allowed him to unleash their full power. As for that Empyrean's heavenly Dao energy, it was essentially useless. When Guo Ran fought, he didn't rely on heavenly Dao energy but the power of his armor. The Dragonblood warriors understood this reasoning, but the others didn't. All they saw was Guo Ran force back an Empyrean over and over again. He had completely suppressed him. Before this, Yu Zifeng had injured Yi King Kuang with one attack. That had been shocking enough, but some people felt that it had been a sneak attack, and that in a real fight, Yu Zifeng wouldn't necessarily be able to receive a full-strength attack from an Empyrean. However, now Guo Ran was completely suppressing an Empyrean in combat. That was absolutely shocking. They had never heard of a rank 9 celestial being capable of fighting against an Empyrean on even ground. They were supposed to be unable to resist in front of that absolute heavenly Dao suppression. Yu Zifeng and Guo Ran had toppled that thinking. They were both incredibly powerful. Everyone stared at the two figures fighting in the air. 
They completely forgot about the flow of time. They fought for six hours. The Empyrean tried different moves and even used many secret arts. But at best, he was only able to temporarily force back Guo Ran. He was quickly suppressed by Guo Ran time and time again, making him roar angrily. Idiot. Is being an Empyrean so amazing? Did you think being an Empyrean made you special? Are you shouting like an animal because you're in heat? Did you think having a divine item made you impressive? Guo Ran's mouth didn't slack off as he fought. He intentionally angered the Empyrean. If the Empyrean didn't have a divine item in his hand, his situation would be even more miserable. After a while of fighting, Guo Ran put away his sabers and fought with his fists. After all, he hadn't had a real fight after creating this armor. He needed to get used to it. And it just so happened he had an Empyrean opponent to train himself with. Do you see this? I can fight you barehanded. Beating you is like beating a child. What are you so arrogant for? Guo Ran blocked the Empyrean sword with his fist and sent him flying with a kick. The Empyrean coughed up a mouthful of blood. It wasn't from the kick but from anger. He felt like he was about to go crazy from fury. Guo Ran was absolutely hateful. He was clearly armed to his teeth. But he said he was fighting barehanded. That was too shameless. Seeing the Empyrean cough up blood, everyone jumped in shock. They didn't know it was from anger. They thought he was injured. This Guo Ran is so powerful. He's actually able to injure an Empyrean as a rank 9 celestial. You can't put it that way. There's most likely something strange with his armor. This kind of unorthodox path can't lead to anywhere great. Countered someone else. However, no matter how they put it, even if Guo Ran was relying on external strength, he was still a rank 9 celestial who had forced an Empyrean to this point. That was enough to be proud of. Bastard, if it weren't for your damn turtle shell, I'd kill you with a single slash. Raged the Empyrean. Idiot, if you weren't an Empyrean, I'd drown you with a single piss. Retorted Guo Ran as he met his attacks. Amongst the crowd, Yu Zifeng nodded. Guo Ran's ability to stall for time was truly amazing. Hours had passed without anyone noticing the flow of time. However, the thing that was a bit worrisome wasn't Guo Ran. It was Meng Chi. Even after this long, she was still busy blocking the curse. It was too difficult to deal with it. It was like it had its own life and refused to be purged. This is too boring. I can't wait any longer. Let's kill a few people for fun. Suddenly. Peng Wancheng stood up amongst the ancient race experts and began walking over to Long Chen's camp. Chapter 1551 Flower to Woodcraft Translator Born to be as soon as Peng Wancheng moved. Two other Empyreans stood and followed. They walked toward Meng Chi. It seems they've noticed our stalling tactic and don't want to give us more time. Chu Ya slowly rose. Leave this battle to me. Be careful. Meng Chi was still busy resisting the curse. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Chu Ya smiled and walked out. As she walked forward, the rest of the Dragonblood Legion created a space for her. Isn't that the Skywood Divine Palace's fairy Chu Ya? How did she end up joining the Dragonblood Legion? I heard Long Chen came from the same place as fairy Chu Ya. They two of them have a close relationship, but she's the only Empyrean in the Dragonblood Legion. Will she really be alright against three Empyreans? Chu Ya walked gracefully like an elf coming out of an ancient forest. Just looking at her made people feel like they had escaped outside the clamor of the mundane world. All of Long Chen's women are as beautiful as fairies. Is his charisma really so great? Wondered Yu Tong as she watched Chu Ya walk out. That gentle and transcendent air around her was something even she didn't possess. Women as beautiful as Meng Chi, Chu Ya, and Tang Wan are were few and far between. But they were all so loyal to Long Chen. She couldn't quite understand where Long Chen's charisma came from. You don't understand his charisma because you don't understand him. He is like an incurable poison. By the time someone realizes his toxicity, they've already been poisoned. Zi Yan looked at Chu Yao with a complicated expression. Chu Yao stopped. Peng Wancheng and the other two celestials also stopped 3,000 meters away from her. I'll give you a chance to survive. Submit to me. Peng Wancheng looked at Chu Yao with envy. He envied Long Chen for being so lucky to have such beautiful women and talent. Chu Yao didn't reply. She slowly put her palms against each other in front of her. The moment her palms connected, 
life energy filled the air. The plaza was covered in bricks and was lifeless. However, green shoots began to grow out of the cracks between the bricks, rapidly growing into trees. Since you've chosen death, don't blame me for being vicious to a beauty. Leave her to me. You two handle the others. Do your best to capture them alive, said Pen Wanshang. He shot toward Chu Yao while the other two also moved. They had only just moved when Chu Yao's hand seal changed. The ground exploded as wooden stakes shot out, filling the sky. HMPH, this move is useless against me, sneered Pen Wanshang. The primal chaos manifestation behind him circulated, and with a single punch, the wooden stakes before him exploded. However, the wooden stakes were endless and continued wrapping around them like millions of pythons. The distant experts were all shocked by the scale of this battle. Was this the power of Empyreans? It was truly terrifying. Those wooden stakes possessed terrifying power. The rank 9 celestials might be able to block one or two, but in the face of that many, they would be instantly annihilated. The rank 8 celestials were paler than the rank 9 celestials, let alone blocking such an attack. They might be killed just by getting close. Guo Ran's fight with the Empyrean was a straight exchange of brute strength in the air, which hadn't allowed them to sense how terrifying an Empyrean was. Now that they saw these endless twisting wooden stakes, they experienced the terror of Empyreans. Everyone retreated, leaving a huge space for them to fight. Break, Pen Wanchen roared, and his forehead suddenly split open. A golden light shot out at the wooden stakes. Anywhere the golden light passed, the golden stakes were destroyed. This move was incredibly powerful. It was a divine ability that Pen Wancheng had awakened recently. However, the three of them had just been about to charge out of that opening when flower petals fell from the sky. They looked beautiful but also strange. The edges of these petals were lined with thorns. At first, they appeared to be floating gently as they fell from the sky. But as soon as the three of them got near them, the petals began to rapidly spin, slicing through space like saw blades. A sharp sound that caused everyone's hair to stand on end rang out. Pen Wancheng and the other two didn't even have time to react before the flower petals wrapped around them. Fresh blood splattered. The three of them roared and summoned heavenly Tao defenses, but these petals could pierce their heavenly Tao defenses. Although their power dropped after, they still sliced through their skin. The three of them had become covered in blood shocking the people outside. These seemingly gentle and beautiful petals were actually terrifying killing tools. Divine Light Protection Pen Wancheng activated another divine ability, and Golden Light covered his body like battle armor. At the same time, he swung his divine item, the Battle Halberd. Golden waves spread from his divine item as he attacked. The flower petals were blown away. At the same time, a small golden figure appeared on Pen Wancheng's forehead rapidly forming hand seals. A huge pair of wings appeared on his back. The golden wings were 300 meters long and covered in flashing runes. They looked like real wings superimposed over his physical ones. With the flap of these wings, the surrounding flower petals were instantly blown to bits. Rumor is Pen Wancheng is a descendant of the true golden pen race. Although he's from the ancient races, the mix of the human blood resulted in the power of his golden pen bloodline of his ancient race weakening. However, Pen Wancheng's bloodline shows signs of reverting back to an ancestral state, and the bloodline of the golden pen is extremely dense within him. Those two wings seem to be a divine skill of the golden pen race. How terrifying! cried someone in shock. Those two wings shook heaven and earth. The two Empyreans recovered as the petals were blown away. They were both infuriated. Just now, their situation had been extremely miserable. Having won some breathing room thanks to Pen Wansheng, they both charged toward Chu Yao with their weapons. Chu Yao was floating in the air, and beneath her was a sea of green. Countless wooden stakes were starting to grow shoots. They were completely different from her previous wooden stakes that were dead sticks. These were alive. Staring at these wooden stakes, people felt like they were being drawn into a beautiful dream as if they might fall fast asleep. Chu Yao's green dress billowed around her, and her long black hair blew back in the wind. She was like a sacred, noble goddess. She closed her eyes, sensing the life energy within the world. Chu Yao formed new hand seals, while a miniature version of her appeared on her forehead, forming hand seals as well. 
Just as Pen Wancheng and the others were about to reach her, she slowly opened her eyes. The instant she opened her eyes, the miniature version of her also did. Two runes appeared in its eyes. Chu Yao and her Yuan spirit's hand seals changed at the same time, and they both shouted, Flower to wood graft. The petals that Pen Wancheng had blown apart now flew to the wooden stakes. They were instantly absorbed, and the wooden stakes green and golden runes lit up. A terrifying aura soared. The wooden stakes seemed to go from gentle slumbering beasts to the ones that had been startled awake. They instantly became berserk. The wooden stakes shot into the air. Shockingly, the ends of the wooden stakes had transformed into the shapes of wild beasts. Their sharp fangs were crystal clear. Boom. One of the Empyreans had only just shattered one wooden stake when he found that its power was over a hundred times greater than before, and his attack wasn't enough to stop the flood of other wooden stakes attacking. He immediately was struck on the shoulder and coughed up blood. These wooden stakes were now like beasts, and they could pounce and bite. Some wooden stakes transformed into weapons, sabers, spears, swords, and halberds. There were all kinds of ways for the wooden stakes to attack now, and they were completely different from before. The three of them were instantly devoured by a sea of wooden stakes. Their roars rang out from within. They were constantly injured. Pen Wancheng activated his divine ability once more, attacking with his wings. However, he was only able to destroy the wooden stakes within a 300 meter area. He was unable to destroy them all. The other two Empyreans were also fighting as hard as they could, but they were still being injured over and over. Pen Wancheng roared and his forehead split open once more. A golden light shot out. However, he only managed to break a few dozen wooden stakes. They were too tough, and even his divine ability had lost its effect. Fuck, how is she so strong? Roared Pen Wancheng. After reaching the soul transformation and awakening new divine abilities, his power had grown explosively. He had wanted to use these divine abilities to defeat Long Chen. However, now he was defeated by Chu Yao before even fighting Long Chen. The wooden stakes continued to fly out endlessly, wrapping the three of them. The three of them could only bitterly resist. Their battle became one of attrition. I smell the scent of a scheme. Long Chen definitely has some secret, and he's told his people to stall for time. We're not waiting any longer. Let's first capture these people. Who wants to go? Said Yan Weishan suddenly. I'll go. The dragon blood warrior's essence blood will definitely have a good taste. I won't waste it. The corrupt paths Jin Mingwei stood with a sinister smile. And walked out. Chapter 1552 Long Chen arrives translator. Born to be following Jin Mingwei. All the other corrupt experts stood and began walking over to the dragon blood legion. None of the other experts moved. Only the corrupt path did. Sha Guangyan's side had 17 Empyreans, and that number did not include their four strongest members, Hu Shaolin, Yan Weishan, Jin Mingwei, and Bloodkill Wan. It could be said that their current power was enough to dominate the eastern Xuan region, even if the Zither Fairy stood on Long Chen's side. So what? She wouldn't be able to change anything. Either Long Chen didn't come, or he did, and if he did, there was zero chance he could leave alive. With the Dragonblood Legion having come, all they had to do was capture the Dragonblood Warriors. Even if Long Chen didn't come today, if they caught his fatal weak point, there was no way he would be able to make as many waves as before. The only thing awaiting him would be death. Jin Mingwei led his corrupt experts to the Dragonblood Legion. As he passed Chu Yao's battlefield, he sneered at Pen Wancheng's group of three who were caught by the endless wooden stakes. Jin Mingwei swung his gourd up to drink another mouthful, but he realized it was empty. After putting it away, he suddenly took a step into the region of the wooden stakes. With that single step, the ground exploded and blood runes spread, infecting the wooden stakes on the ground. The wooden stakes rapidly corroded as soon as they were touched by the blood runes. In the end, they turned into blood-colored dust. That's, that's too terrifying Jin Mingwei had annihilated a whole region of wooden stakes with just a step. On the other hand, Pen Wancheng's group of three were forced into a miserable state. That comparison showed just how terrifying Jin Mingwei was. Just like that, Jin Mingwei led his people through the domain of Chu Yao's wooden stakes. Anywhere he went, 
The wooden stakes corroded Navaloon.com He's a terrifying opponent. Everyone prepare yourself. Yu Zifeng slowly stood, having a grave expression on his face. This Jin Mingwei was incredibly powerful. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and the rest of the Dragonblood warriors also stood, their weapons in hand. Even in the face of such a terrifying expert, they were still filled with battle intent. The experts who had walked to Long Chen's side due to a moment of hot-bloodedness were now conflicted. They might acknowledge Long Chen's power and character, but this terrifying Jin Mingwei completely intimidated them, turning them into cowardly mice. They were in a place far behind the Dragonblood Legion, and they saw that each of the Dragonblood warriors was facing Jin Mingwei's pressure without the slightest fear. What made them ashamed was that even those on the same cultivation level as them still had calm eyes. Just as Jin Mingwei was arrogantly passing through the domain of wooden stakes, the sky rumbled. A willow branch pierced out of the void. The willow branch came out of nowhere, and it arrived in front of Jin Mingwei in an instant. It looked to be an ordinary branch with weak willow leaves, but it gave Jin Mingwei a chill. Without even thinking about it, Jin Mingwei smashed his fist out. Blood runes revolved around his fist, causing the void to shake. This also showed Jin Mingwei's power. Even a hasty attack possessed such power. Boom. However, this seemingly weak willow branch knocked Ji Mingwei dozens of meters back. The sky turned dark and a huge willow appeared, its crown covering the sky. Countless branches fell from it, wrapping around Jin Mingwei and the others. What is that? When that huge willow appeared, everyone, including Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin, and the others, were shocked. The willow branches were too numerous. Although Jin Mingwei managed to break the ones attacking him with a punch, the corrupt experts behind him were torn apart one by one. Break. Jin Mingwei roared furiously, and the blood runes around his body lit up. Blades began to fly out of him, slicing through the branches, protecting the surviving corrupt experts. He fled from the attack range of the willow. However, by this time, only eight of them were left. The rest had been killed. Pen Wansheng, watch out shouted Hu Shaolin. Just at this moment, the willow branches stretched toward the area covered in wooden stakes. Like sharp spears, they pierced through the openings of the wooden stakes. The two Empyreans were instantly pierced. Pen Wanchen roared, and golden runes flowed around his body. Golden blood flowed out of his forehead. His halberd suddenly exploded with divine power, unleashing a ray of light that tore through everything in its way. Pen Wancheng had clearly activated the power of his divine item. The wooden stakes and willow branches were both blown apart. The two Empyreans that had been pierced by the branches also had their lives saved. The three of them hastily fled, rejoining Yan Weishan and Hu Shaolin. It had only been a breath's time since the willow had appeared, but dozens of experts had been slain. If Pen Wancheng hadn't sacrificed his essence blood to activate his divine item, those two Empyreans would have died as well. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent as they stared at the huge willow. This willow was the undying willow that had once forced Long Chen to desperate straits. Now it was on the side of the Dragonblood Legion, and its huge crown covered the entire Dragonblood Legion. So this is your trump card. Everyone, don't hesitate. Whether or not Long Chen is coming, let's capture them first, shouted Yan Weishan. He was the first to fly out, flames revolving around him. A flame blade slashed toward the undying willow. Following Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin and Jin Mingwei also took action. Hu Shaolin let out a single punch, blowing apart the willow branches in front of him. However, new branches immediately grew out. It looked like they would never be exhausted. All the other experts followed. Sha Guangyan shouted, Annihilate the Dragonblood Legion. Annihilate the scourge of the continent. There's no need to show the slightest mercy. We are saving the eastern Xuan region from calamity. This is for the Martial Heaven Continent Brothers. Although our boss isn't present, we are still Dragonblood Warriors. How many battles have we faced? Perhaps you don't even remember. Today, boss isn't present, and it's finally our turn to take the stage. Use the blood and lives of these idiots as vengeance for the fallen disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect and cloud. Guo Ran shouted from his battlefield, and his armor suddenly began to shine. He let out a vicious slash at the Empyrean he was facing. Shockingly, 
This Empyrean that he had been fighting evenly for so long was immediately blown back into the ground, wildly coughing up blood. Several experts that he crashed into were slain. Although he had a divine item in his hands, he couldn't activate its power so easily. If he didn't offer up his essence blood, he might as well not have a divine item. On the other hand, Guo Ran had dozens of ancestral items backing him up, and their item spirits worked together to empower each of his attacks. If he hadn't been stalling for time, this Empyrean would have long since been defeated by him. Now that there was no need to stall anymore, it was time to kill. Die. Two other Empyreans immediately flew toward Guo Ran. With a furious roar, Guo Ran slashed both his sabers down, activating all the power of his ancestral items. Boom. Those two Empyreans were blown back. Their heavenly Tao pressure was ineffective against Guo Ran. While Guo Ran had the full power of so many ancestral items, even Empyreans were unable to stop him. However, after sending them away, Guo Ran attracted the attention of other Empyreans. They rushed at him. Fuck. Come. My blade's already thirsty. Let me show you the power of boss Guo Guo Ran started a crazy battle. It went without saying that with his armor, his power was truly immense. Four Empyreans were attacking him at all times now, and even Guo Ran was unable to block them all. He was continuously suffering injuries even inside his armor. Just as the Empyreans were focusing on Guo Ran, a sword cut through space, sending one of them flying. That Empyrean's heavenly Tao protection seemed to have lost its effect, and he had almost been cut in two. If he wasn't wearing armor, he might have been killed by that one attack. Ziffeng, you came at the right time. Let's kill these bastards. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Gu Yang also went to assist Guo Ran. However, there were too many Empyreans, and danger surrounded them. Other than Guo Ran and Yu Zifeng, the others were affected by the heavenly Tao pressure. Rank 9 Celestial simply couldn't fight Empyreans. It wasn't a fair fight. If it weren't for the fact that Long Chen had made them fight against Heavenly Tribulation over and over again, giving them high resistance toward the pressure of the Heavenly Deos, they'd have been defeated in the first exchange. Even so, they were only barely able to keep holding on. Do I help or not? Zi Yan looked at the Dragonblood Legion with a conflicted expression. Although the Undying Willow was doing its best to protect them, Every member of the Dragonblood Legion was surrounded by danger now. The difference between the two sides was just too immense. Suddenly, sand exploded out of the ground. A figure charged toward Meng Chi who was focusing on resisting the curse. Bastard, you dare to touch my sister, raged Tang Wan'er. However, she was blocking Yi King Kuang and couldn't save Meng Chi. Now she panicked. If Meng Chi had only been given another two hours she would have been able to force the curse out of her body. However, if she had to split her attention now, the curse would immediately invade her body. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen's woman, come here. Sha Guangyan laughed, stretching out a hand toward Meng Qi's neck. Meng Qi sighed. She was about to give up on blocking the curse and fight back when a disdainful voice rang out from the sky. Is my woman someone you can touch? A large hand came from a bizarre angle. Smashing against Sha Guangyan's head. Bang. Sha Guangyan's head exploded. Blood mist filled the air. Chapter 1553 Berserk Long Chen Translator. Born to be with one slap. Blood mist filled the air. And Sha Guangyan's head was blown to bits. Time seemed to stand still. The owner of the hand slowly revealed itself as the blood mist dispersed. It was a handsome face with star-like eyes. Those eyes contained unfathomable killing intent. Long Chen, when that person appeared, everyone's pupils shrank. It was Long Chen. He had gotten back right at the critical moment. He appeared to be a grim reaper to the others. A strange image was in his eyes, one that flickered in and out of existence. There were also ripples coming from behind him, causing space to shudder. The current Long Chen seemed completely different from before. Sha Guangyan's body fell to the ground, and a miniature version of him shot away. That was his Yuan spirit. His body had died without him even realizing what had happened. But the instant he realized it was Long Chen, a sensation of danger filled every inch of him. However, he had barely gotten anywhere when a figure appeared before him. A cold pair of eyes stared at him. Seeing Long Chen in front of him, 
Sha Guangyan immediately turned, but a large hand caught his Yuan spirit. Sha Guangyan, I rarely hate a person this much. Congratulations the veins in Long Chen's forehead bulged as he stared at Sha Guangyan's Yuan spirit that was struggling in his hand. No, don't kill me, shouted Sha Guangyan. Long Chen's hand tightened, and Sha Guangyan's Yuan spirit was crushed. Specks of light exploded and vanished. An Empyrean was killed. The neutral camp's experts were watching from a distance, and they were all stupefied. An Empyrean had actually died. A generation's genius had just vanished from this world. The most shocking thing was that this Empyrean was killed in just one attack. Long Chen had just crushed Sha Guangyan's Yuan spirit when another person fled. That person had barely moved when Long Chen's figure vanished as well. When he reappeared, he was in front of that person. A powerful punch was unleashed, one that caused the void to crumble around it. Those two figures became indistinct within that crumbled space. No, that voice came from Yi King Kuang. He had just been fighting Tang Wan Er and had almost killed her several times. However, as soon as he had seen Long Chen kill Sha Guangyan, his courage was broken and he had fled. Regretfully, Long Chen had still caught up to him. Boom. Space returned to calm. People saw blood mist in the air, as well as a staff. The staff was now in Long Chen's hand, while in his other hand was Yi King Kuang's Yuan spirit. Another banging sound rang out as Yi King Kuang's Yuan spirit was crushed. Long Chen's face was sharp and fierce. He resembled a berserk devil god, looking as if he wished to kill everything in this world. In just two blinks of an eye, two Empyreans were killed. Both the alley and the enemy were shocked. After killing Yi King Kuang, Long Chen appeared in front of the execution stand. He reached out to grab the chain's piercing cloud's body. Long Chen, don't, shouted Meng Chi. However, her warning was too late. Long Chen had already touched the chains. Black Chi surged out of them once more, covering Long Chen just like it had covered Meng Chi. HMPH, a little curse dares to scheme against me. Lightning flashed across Long Chen's body. The Black Chi was like snow that had met lava and it was instantly incinerated. Break, Long Chen roared, his voice shaking the heavens. The chain's binding cloud exploded, but at that exact moment, the huge axe head of the execution stand fell toward Cloud and Long Chen. The curse on the chains was just one of the traps. The second trap was that when the chains were broken, this execution stand, which was a divine item in its own right, would activate automatically, annihilating all life standing on it. Meng Chi Long Chen shouted, and Meng Chi immediately reacted, sending out her spiritual strength. Cloud's giant body vanished from the execution stand. The axe had missed its target and continued downward toward Long Chen with great divine power. Since none of you have any respect in your hearts, don't blame me for slaughtering you all, roared Long Chen. The image in his eyes grew brighter, and he suddenly smashed the steel coiling dragon staff at the axe head noveloon.com cm boom. An explosion of divine items erupted, and the world lost all its color. It was like a star had exploded within a frozen lake. The ground exploded, and a terrifying chi wave spread in every direction. Run. The distant experts fled for their lives, but they still weren't fast enough. In just a moment, the chi wave struck them, making them cough up blood. They were all shocked. Some experts flew into the air, looking at the scene of devastation from above. The Grand Han's capital had vanished. Everything within 10,000 miles had been turned into a land of death. Waves of Earth finally collapsed at the end. At the center of this scene of devastation was a large hole. Long Chen was standing there. The upper part of the staff he had in his hand had vanished, while the execution stand, including the axe head, had disappeared. Two divine items destroyed. People were simply gobsmacked. The earth exploded and two groups of figures appeared. On the dragon blood Legion's side, the undying willow's branches pulled back, revealing the dragon blood warriors. None of them were injured. On the other side was Yan Weishan. He had summoned a flame domain that had protected his experts. They also survived this terrifying explosion. In the distance, Zi Yan and the disciples of the elusive music immortal palace were quietly standing there. Zi Yan was staring at Long Chen. It was unknown what she was thinking. The battlefield was now split between the Dragonblood Legion and its opponents. 
the Dragonblood Legion still only had less than 13,000 people, while their opponents numbered over a hundred thousand. The difference in power between the two sides was still immense. However, the Dragonblood warriors still coldly faced their enemies. In fact, with Long Chen before them, they seemed transformed, overflowing with even more battle intent. Boss, you finally got here, Guo Ran sighed. Just now, things had been really dangerous. The Undying Willow had blocked the attacks of the three strongest experts, but even with its amazing recovery abilities, it wouldn't have been able to last much longer. Sorry, something happened with the Nine Star Hegemon body art. It almost caused disaster here, apologized Long Chen. He then walked over to Men Qi and pressed a finger against her forehead. The remnant black chi on Men Qi's head was sucked into Long Chen's hand. It rapidly spread throughout his body. Once all the black chi was sucked away, thunder force circulated through his body, wiping away the black chi. Long Chen, you are really brazen. You dare to send yourself to your own death, shouted Yan Weishan. Long Chen's arrival had shocked him, but now he seemed relieved. Everyone knows that I've always been brazen. So I suppose that Sha Guangyan was just Pill Valley's dog? Without Pill Valley's support, he wouldn't have been able to raise such huge waves. Well, that's good too. Today, we can settle all our enmities, new and old, said Long Chen. Long Chen, hand over the myriad spirit diagram and the grievances between you and the Xuan beasts will be wiped away. Otherwise, the Xuan beasts who Shaolin suddenly spoke. What a joke. I never provoked the Xuan beasts. It was you who provoked me. So, you joined in on this for the myriad spirit diagram? Good. Very good. Long Chen smiled. But that smile was a bit sinister looking. The myriad spirit diagram was something Long Chen had obtained in the Four Nations Ancient Remnant. For this person to know of it, they had to have investigated Cloud Soul. The myriad spirit diagram contained the inheritances of ancient beasts. Many Xuan beasts had lost some of their divine abilities due to the passing of time or their bloodline growing impure. The myriad spirit diagram had detailed recordings of their inheritances and was a priceless treasure to the Xuan beasts. Now that Hu Shaolin said this, it was clear what the goal of the Xuan beasts was. The thing that infuriated Long Chen the most was that despite Cloud being the one who had been tormented into such a miserable state, Hu Shaolin said that he would wipe away their grievances if he handed it over. It was like Long Chen owed him some kind of favor. Long Chen, I'd advise you to know when someone's being kind. The Xuan beasts are in existence no one on the continent dares to provoke. Don't make a mistake, threatened Hu Shaolin. Don't think that killing two Empyreans means you're unrivaled. The difference amongst Empyreans is also as great as a heavenly chasm. Hand over the myriad spirit diagram and the Xuan beasts will no longer interfere in your matters. This is your last chance. Hu Xiaolin's words made Yan Weishan's expression turn a bit unsightly. Only now did he learn that the Xuan beasts had had their own reasons for participating this time. They were truly arrogant to not even place Pill Valley in their eyes. They were actually planning on taking what they wanted and then directly leaving. However, Yan Weishan didn't say anything. He just coldly stared at Long Chen. Is your huge head only packed with shit? Cloud is not my stead, but a comrade who has fought through life and death battles with me. After you tormented it to this point, the enmity between us is one of no rest until death, said Long Chen coldly. All right, since it's no rest until death, then you can die. Hu Shaolin suddenly took a single step crossing a huge distance to send a punch right at Long Chen's head. Chapter 1554 Initial Awakening of a Manifestation Translator Born to be this one punch seemed to possess the power of a tsunami. The power of the heavenly Dao surged along with it. Hu Shaolin was a giant, and he looked like a fierce beast as he attacked Long Chen. Everyone else, scram. I'm going to kill this brat alone, shouted Hu Shaolin. Dragonblood Legion. Find a place to drink tea. Today, your boss will demonstrate what true power is. Long Chen shouted and also sent a punch at Hu Shaolin. Boom. Everyone's expressions changed as invisible power exploded. Run. Some of the experts that didn't retreat fast enough coughed up blood and were sent flying. As for the Dragonblood Legion, they had retreated without Long Chen's instructions. And then once he had told them to retreat again, they had fallen back even further. They weren't affected. 
Is this purely the power of their physical bodies? cried one of the ancient race experts, wiping some blood from his mouth. Only pure physical attacks could cause them to not sense any danger. If they were to use magical arts or battle skills, they would have been on guard and retreated earlier. Only the pure power of their physical bodies could erupt without causing any spatial fluctuations. These experts wildly hacked up blood, while some of the rank 8 celestials almost had their bodies collapse from that one exchange. Long Chen's fist blocked Hu Xiaolin's fist. The size difference between them was immense, making Long Chen look weak. However, as the power between their fists faced off against each other, they were even. Your power's not bad, but in comparison to my Xuan beasts, you're nothing. Hu Xiaolin was a bit surprised Long Chen could block his fist but he was still wildly arrogant. The Xuan beasts were the most pure-blooded existences on the martial heaven continent. Brute strength was their innate power. Humans simply couldn't compare to them. After all, that wasn't the specialty of humans. The human race specialized in magical arts and battle skills. If it weren't for that specialty, the human race might have long since been exterminated. While Hu Shaolin was a bit surprised by Long Chen's power, it wasn't enough to stun him. In his opinion, for a human to fight a Xuan beast with brute strength could only be the result of a wild overestimation of their strength. Big body, big mouth, and big bragging. That's the first impression you've given me of the Xuan beasts, sneered Long Chen. Suddenly, the ground sank. Hu Xiaolin's muscles bulged, and he increased in size. The ground beneath them fractured. Their power was so great that the ground couldn't even bear it. As the ground beneath them sank. The ground around them suddenly bulged. Everyone was stunned. They're completely deforming the land with just physical strength. Just what kind of monsters are they? Said an ancient race expert with a shuddering voice. The ancient races were also known for their power. That was thanks to inheriting the bloodline of the Xuan beasts. Power had always been their proud point. But today, they witnessed what true power was. As the ground deformed, lava suddenly exploded from the ground and a rain of lava fell from the sky. Although lava wasn't enough to threaten these experts, this terrifying sight gave them chills. What was most shocking was that as Hu Xiaolin's power increased, Long Chen's gaze was still calm. No matter how great Hu Xiaolin's power grew, he was unable to shake Long Chen. This is your so-called power, sneered Long Chen. You're too arrogant. Did you think you could crush me with just a portion of your power? Fine. Then let me take the initiative. Long Chen's left hand suddenly slapped Hu Xiaolin's wrist, whacking it away. This sudden change caught Hu Xiaolin off guard, and he ended up charging forward. Meanwhile, Long Chen had already appeared in the air, sending a kick at him. Long Chen's movements were lightning quick. His foot landed right on Hu Xiaolin's chest, and his huge body was sent flying back. Hu Xiaolin smashed into the ground, and a pillar of dust soared into the sky. He dug a large ditch in the ground. How is that possible everyone, including Yan Weishan and Jin Mingwei, was shocked. Long Chen was a human. How could he possess that much power? Although they knew he was powerful, especially since he had killed Sha Guangyan and Yi King Kuang as well as destroying two divine items, that hadn't been that shocking to the two of them in particular. That was because the two of them were also more than capable of that. The execution stand and the steel coiling dragon staff were nothing more than quasi-divine items. Their power was very limited. Furthermore, they were unorthodox ones, and once their weaknesses were used against them, causing them to explode against each other wasn't too difficult. However, they weren't aware that Long Chen hadn't used their weaknesses. In his fury, he had used pure power to make them explode. It was just that they didn't know that. This time... Long Chen's display was clearly one of pure power, and thus it shocked them. The ground suddenly exploded, and heavenly Tao energy raged. A terrifying pressure descended. A huge figure appeared in the sky with a primal chaos manifestation. When that manifestation appeared, all celestials felt immense pressure. It was difficult to breathe. What was shocking was that Hu Xiaolin's manifestation was not pure primal chaos, and there were some faint images within it. Although they were indistinct, it was possible to vaguely see a huge figure within it. However, it was unknown what that figure was. An initial awakening. His manifestation is already starting to awaken. 
cried out a fellow Empyrean with shock. His voice was full of envy. Perhaps others were unaware of what it meant for a manifestation to have reached the point of an initial awakening, but Empyreans longed for such a thing. It signified that Huzai Island's power had reached a new level, allowing him to suppress Empyreans who had yet to start awakening their manifestations. In truth, Empyreans who had yet to awaken their manifestations were not true Empyreans. In the ancient era, only people who had fully awakened their manifestations were qualified to be called Empyreans. However, after successive dark eras, the continent had declined, and there were fewer geniuses, let alone those who awakened their manifestations. Even those who could give rise to ordinary primal chaos manifestations were few and far between. So even at that level, they were called Empyreans now. For ordinary Empyreans, their manifestation was a mass of primal chaos, which was like an egg. An awakened manifestation was like the birth of that egg. No one could tell what was growing inside the egg. Some Empyreans would live out their whole lives without awakening their manifestations and seeing what was inside. Some would also start awakening their manifestation, signifying that they had a chance to become a true Empyrean. However, that was just a chance. It was still not set in stone that they would fully awaken their manifestation. That was because awakening one's manifestation was a long and difficult process. Sometimes there was even a chance that a manifestation would awaken but still not fully form. There was also an even crueler reality where one Empyrean awakened their manifestation first, resulting in others not being able to awaken theirs. Each Empyrean's manifestation was unique. Only one could exist at any time. They all had their own names. And once one manifestation was fully woken, it would be blessed by the world, making it so another could not fully form. For instance, there might be a hundred Empyreans who were supposed to awaken the same manifestation. All of them did their best to nourish their manifestation and make it awaken. However, once one person awakened their manifestation, the cruel reality was that the other 99 Empyreans with the same manifestation would never be able to awaken them. Seeing that Huzai Island's manifestation had already reached the initial awakening stage, all the other Empyreans were extremely envious. Long Chen, you've really angered me. Huzai Island's manifestation revolved around him. Heaven and earth raged along with him. An idiot can only say idiotic things, snorted Long Chen. He slowly rose into the air. Does infuriating you mean others have to pay a price? Well, you killed my brothers, harmed my companions, injured my loved ones. Do you know how much you've angered me? HMPH. A weak disciple of a human sect isn't qualified to be angry. Power is what matters in this world. The strong are the existences that can reap other lives, while the weak should simply crawl beneath our feet and accept their fate. Your resistance will only anger the strong. That's what's foolish. You aren't qualified to resist. If you resist, you'll have to pay an even greater price, sneered Hu Shaolin. He took a single step across the air, causing the void to explode. He reached Long Chen in an instant, sending a kick at Long Chen. An ant's final fate is simply to be crushed by the strong. Chapter 1555 A Competition of Pure Physical Power Translator Born to be Huzai Island's kick toward Long Chen was not actually a killing blow. His goal was to recover the face Long Chen's kick had lost him. Huzai Island's foot smashed forward, but Long Chen's body suddenly vanished, causing his attack to miss. Pow! A hand came from an inconceivable angle. Hu Shaolin didn't sense any danger or warning before he was slapped across the face and sent flying. Thunder could vaguely be heard as Long Chen's figure reappeared. This was a magical art he had come up with after going through the lightning tribulation. During this time, he had been trying to create his own personal magical arts or battle skills. Only things that he created himself were really his. However, such a thing was far too difficult. Currently, he couldn't create his own techniques, but he was capable of merging or adding new possibilities to other techniques. This strange movement Artie had just used was the result of him merging the lightning Artie had learned in the spirit world's ancient battlefield with the lightning body blink. The lightning tribulation he had undergone in the Zhuanshan Dao sect's infernal devil abyss had given him inspiration for this move as the concept was similar to how that lightning incarnation had moved. At that time, 
the lightning incarnation had been able to freely move within a sea of lightning, coming and going like a ghost. If it hadn't been for Li Xiangxuan's warning, he might have died to it. Having gone through the baptism of divine lightning, Lai Long had grown stronger, and Long Chen's own control over Thunder Force had increased. He had come up with this movement art. The name that he gave it was Lightning Flash Step. He could practically teleport anywhere within a 3,000 meter space enveloped by his Thunder Force. Although the range was short, the movement was almost instantaneous. To Long Chen, this was a master breakthrough. The only thing that dissatisfied Long Chen was that he had to rely on Lai Long's power for this. If Lai Long was out of power, his lightning flash step would lose its effect. However, while there were drawbacks, there were also advantages. That was that his lightning flash step would increase in power as Lai Long's power increased. Being able to move so quickly within a small area had greatly increased his combat potential. If it was before, he would have only been able to receive Hu Zai Island's kick head on. At best, he would have blocked it with his own kick. What happened now would have been an impossibility. When Long Chen sent Hu Shaolin flying with a slap in the face, it was like all the experts watching were slapped. Their jaws were dropped as far as possible, and none of them could speak. Some people weren't even able to tell what had just happened. Long Chen, you're dead, Hu Shaolin roared and heavenly Tao energy surged out of him, like a wild beast, he pounced on Long Chen, you're the one who's dead, sneered Long Chen, in the face of Hu Shaolin who had unleashed all his power, he had no intention of dodging, instead, he charged right at him, seeing Long Chen charging at him, Hu Shaolin let out a roar, his manifestation shook, and a rune appeared on his forehead, it instantly spread throughout his body, when their bodies clashed again, the sky shook, Astral winds raged as they began a crazy fight. Their fists danced and runes exploded with each collision. As a result, sand and stone were sent flying with such power that they pierced through mountains. The astral winds were like blades, and a cracking sound could be heard coming from space. Even from a distance, everyone could feel that terrifying power. They were all horrified. This level of power had surpassed the scope of their understanding. There were no magical arts no battle skills, and no divine items. It was purely a primal fight of physical strength. However, the destructive power made their hair stand on end. Hu Shaolin was from the Xuan Beasts, the number one race in power. After all, they had the bodies of Xuan Beasts, so people could accept that Hu Shaolin had this much power. However, Long Chen was a human, but he was relying on just the power of his physical body to fight against one of the Xuan Beasts' Empyreans. This was incomprehensible. While everyone was shocked, the other experts from the Xuan Beasts were even more so. They knew that even amongst the Xuan Beasts, Hu Shaolin was a very famous existence. Yet, he was now unable to even defeat a human in power. That was absolutely embarrassing. The Xuan Beasts were proud and arrogant. While their power was their proudest talent, they were unable to accept that a human's power could surpass theirs. Boom. It was unknown what happened. But suddenly the two of them tumbled back, smashing into the ground like meteorites. Following that, the ground began to explode, bulging in various locations. The two of them were fighting underground, while everyone above ground felt each of their exchanges causing the land beneath them to shake. This is practically an apocalyptic battle people couldn't help lamenting. This battle was absolutely terrifying. Their eyes had been opened to the larger world. This isn't anything. The two of them have yet to unleash their true power. There was a powerful Empyrean standing in the neutral camp who shook his head. Although he looked very young, his gaze was sharp. No one dared to approach him. However, as soon as he spoke, people found that he wasn't as cold and aloof as they had expected. But, that's impossible. Even with such power, they're still holding back, cried one person. Others also had disbelieving expressions. A fight on just this level already surpassed their imagination. If this still wasn't their full power, then just what was a real fight? That Empyrean said, Neither Long Chen nor Hu Shaolin are existences we can imagine. Although I am also an Empyrean, I'm nothing in front of them, and I'm also unable to see through their true power. However, since they are not using magical arts or divine items, it's clear that they're undergoing a pure battle of physical strength. 
The Xuan beasts are claimed to be number one in power, surpassing all other races. This is their greatest pride. If Hu Shaolin is unable to suppress Long Chen in terms of power, it will damage the reputation of the Xuan beasts. That's something the prideful Xuan beasts would be unable to accept. That's why Hu Shaolin isn't using any techniques. Otherwise, even if he did kill Long Chen with magical arts, he wouldn't be able to wash away that stain on his reputation, and the Xuan beast's reputation would also be forever tarnished. As for Long Chen, it seems he is deliberately trying to slap Hu Shaolin in the face by beating him with brute power. If this slap lands, it'll completely humiliate all the Xuan beasts. That Empyrean's analysis shocked everyone. They hadn't expected that such a terrifyingly intense fight was not even a true life and death match. If this came from someone else's mouth, even if that person was a rank 9 celestial, they would snort and say that it was nonsense. However, these words were coming from a powerful Empyrean's mouth. They had no choice but to believe. Just what would happen once these two started to fight with their lives on the line? Would the very heavens collapse? Now that you say it, it seems true. Don't the stories say that when Long Chen is fighting all out, he has a giant divine ring behind him? That's his trademark, and he has yet to bring it out, commented another person. That's right, I've seen Long Chen fighting for real. In his most powerful state, his body becomes covered in green scales. He really isn't going all out yet, added another. The more the neutral camp's experts discussed it, the more shocked they became. Just how powerful was Long Chen? Having stepped into the soul transformation realm, instead of using magical arts, he was fighting an Empyrean from the Xuan beasts with just the power of his physical body. How domineering, how wildly arrogant was that? Some of them looked enviously at the warriors of the Dragonblood Legion. If I could join the Dragonblood Legion, I could die without regrets. They were very envious of the Dragonblood warriors to be able to follow such a domineering but also loyal heavenly genius. For just a steed, despite knowing it was a death trap filled with powerful enemies, Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion had still come. That grandness was something they all aspired to. When they compared Long Chen's loyalty to Sha Guangyan's side sinister and malicious schemes, they found that they were starkly contrasted. Although they were both heavenly geniuses, the difference in their charisma was too great. Although the public opinion was being controlled by someone, not everyone was so foolish. Many people had investigated Long Chen's past. He had come from a rundown noble family in the secular world and forced his way to his current level. He had encountered countless setbacks without lowering his head, and he had never fled in fear from mortal danger. What was even more amazing was the fact that he had led a group of life and death brothers from the eastern wasteland to the central plains. How was it even possible for such a person to be the treacherous villain who destroyed his own sect and master? The only reason why these lies could spread so easily was because many people who knew the truth chose to act like they believed the lies for profit. Acting like they couldn't see the truth, they chose to stand by Sha Guangyan's side, as more accurately, that was standing on the side of Pill Valley and the ancient races. The ground continued to explode and deform. After a particularly powerful collision, two figures flew out of the ground. Long Chen and Hu Shaolin once more appeared in the air. The dust slowly settled, allowing people to see them clearly. Startled cries rang out, as they saw that Hu Xiaolin's chest was bloody and there was also some blood coming from the corner of his mouth. Hu Shaolin was actually injured. In terms of physical strength, the Xuan beasts aren't as powerful as I thought. Long Chen swung his slightly numb hand indifferently. Hearing that, everyone's heart shook. Was that supposed to mean that Hu Shaolin had lost in terms of pure power? The Xuan beasts could lose to a human? Was that even possible? Chapter 1556 Mysterious Five Point Star Translator Born to be when Long Chen's words rang out, Hu Xiaolin's expression sank, and everyone's heart shook. It seemed his words were true. Hu Shaolin felt a burning sensation on his face. In their underground battle, he had been unable to suppress Long Chen and had been kicked in the chin, resulting in him flying out. Although he had immediately circulated his heavenly Tao energy to heal the injury, he hadn't had time to cover the blood stains. With everyone staring at him, he knew he had been exposed. HMPH. 
How could the power of the Xuan beasts be something you humans could possibly reach? Don't make me laugh to death. Since you're so arrogant, I'll let you experience a kind of power that a human could never reach even if they cultivated for a thousand years. The human race isn't even fit to carry the Xuan beast race's shoes. Hu Shaolin roared, and the indistinct figure within his manifestation suddenly began to move. A majestic energy surged out of him. Hu Xiaolin's manifestation grew from 3,000 meters to 30,000 meters in an instant. The figure within it swelled as well, and the rune on Hu Xiaolin's forehead grew brighter until it lit up the sky. As his manifestation grew, his heavenly Tao energy began to boil like oil in a pot. The indistinct figure within his manifestation was still unclear, but based on its outline, it was clearly a dark tiger. Hu Xiaolin's body became covered by black fur, and two huge fangs grew out of his mouth. His hands transformed into sharp claws. Hu Shaolin was in a half-man, half-beast form now. With the support of his manifestation behind him, his aura was exceptionally horrifying. That was just a warm-up. The real battle starts now, so don't be so pleased. Even Hu Xiaolin's eyes had turned dark red, and his voice sounded like metal clashing. Suddenly. Hu Shaolin shot at Long Chen with incredible speed. People were only able to catch a black light fly out before he arrived in front of Long Chen. A sharp claw slicing toward Long Chen. Long Chen was immediately blown many miles back. One of his sleeves was torn off, revealing some streaks of blood on his arm. How could a weak little human understand just how strong the Xuan beasts are? Just now, I was only using 30% of my power. Did you think you were strong? What a joke. Just 50% of my power is enough to crush you, sneered Hu Shaolin upon sending Long Chen flying. His bloodthirsty air made others shiver. People could sense some kind of energy surging through the huge tiger image within his manifestation and into his body. He truly did appear to be a god amongst beasts. The only thing that was hard for them to accept was his irritating mouth. He kept insulting the human race. He was cursing everyone here except the Xuan beasts and ancient races. It was unknown whether he was simply not paying attention or just did not care. Having insulted the human race continuously with his words, even Yan Weishan and Jin Mingwei's expressions were cold. The dragon blood warriors simply watched calmly. They didn't show much emotion, because they understood Long Chen too well. Why do your words sound so funny? You were using 30% of your power? Then do you believe me when I say I was only using 10% of mine? Asked Long Chen lightly. Then let's see if your mouth is tougher than my fist. Sneered Hu Shaolin. The black image within his manifestation shook. And the sky darkened. A claw slammed toward Long Chen. Hu Shaolin had activated one of the Xuan beast's divine abilities. And both his power and speed had sharply increased. People were barely able to track his movements and could only see a black figure charging at Long Chen. In that instant, they felt all the heavenly Tao energy in the world was sucked dry by Hu Shaolin. In the face of Hu Xiaolin's shocking attack, Long Chen merely smiled coldly. Yet again, since you insist on holding back, I'll have to take the initiative. Divine ring. Boom. Long Chen smashed his fist at Hu Xiaolin's claw. The sound of bones breaking rang out along with a pained grunt. Hu Shaolin coughed up a mouthful of blood and smashed into the ground. What everyone was shocked. Looking up at the sky, they saw a 30,000 meter divine ring flowing with five colors. As the five color divine ring circulated, heaven and earth changed color, and an undefeatable will filled the world. This time, the azure color that represented the divine gate star was no longer faint. It was fully illuminated. The five-colored divine star had finally reached its complete state. Even the dragonblood warriors who were familiar with Long Chen were surprised by this divine ring. It was no longer the same as before. An image had appeared within the divine ring. It was a very simple five-point star. This was something that had never appeared before. The light of the five-point star and the divine ring illuminated Long Chen. He appeared both domineering and mysterious. Long Chen suddenly vanished reappearing right in front of Hu Shaolin. How fast. People had yet to recover from their shock when they were given another surprise. Without waiting for Hu Shaolin to recover from the previous blow, Long Chen struck him with his fist. A huge hole was blown in the ground. Hu Xiaolin's arms had tried to block, 
but Long Chen's fist had struck him in the chest. Blood spurted out of Hu Xiaolin's mouth. I believe you when you said you were only using 30% of your power. Now, do you believe me when I say I was only using 10%? Sneered Long Chen. He sent a kick at Hu Xiaolin's head. The same move that Hu Shaolin had tried to use against Long Chen. Bastard. You're courting death. Roared Hu Shaolin. His whole body began to shine. And black runes formed a ball around his fist as he met Long Chen's kick. Boom. The ball of runes exploded. Long Chen was knocked back, but Hu Shaolin was smashed even deeper into the ground. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and he forcibly changed direction, charging back at Hu Shaolin. The ground exploded as they clashed once more. Suddenly, Hu Shaolin coughed up blood, and runes lit up on his claws. Four streaks of divine light shot toward Long Chen. They were too close, and this attack was too sudden. Hence. Long Chen couldn't dodge even if he wanted to. Startled cries rang out as this turn of events caught everyone off guard. Just now, Long Chen had taken the absolute advantage. But was he about to be killed in the blink of an eye now? These four streaks of divine light were one of the Xuan Beast's secret arts. Once they pierced someone's head, their Yuan spirit would be destroyed. However, at this moment... Long Chen's Yuan spirit appeared out of his head and sent a punch at the four streaks of divine light. What a Yuan spirit attack. Seeing Long Chen's Yuan spirit appear, everyone's jaws dropped. The Empyreans were especially shocked. Only Empyreans could condense powerful enough Yuan spirits to help form hand seals for their main body to activate magical arts. However, even their Yuan spirits were very weak compared to their true bodies. They couldn't be used to block attacks as that was no different from suicide. Bang. Boom. Two sounds rang out at almost the same time. The punch of Long Chen's Yuan spirit shattered those four streaks of divine light, and it wasn't harmed at all. At the same time, Long Chen's foot struck Hu Xiaolin's chin, and Hu Xiaolin's jaw exploded. With a pained grunt, he flew back. Boss is mighty. Guo Ran led the pack with his cheering, and the dragon blood warriors also cheered. After summoning his divine ring, each of Long Chen's attacks became sharper and fiercer. Hu Shaolin was injured repeatedly and forced back. It was definitely satisfying to see. Hu Shaolin might be an overbearing bully and wildly arrogant, but he was qualified to be arrogant. However, while he was qualified to be arrogant in front of others, he was not qualified in front of Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen beating him, the dragon blood warriors were incomparably refreshed. Hu Shaolin flew back, his jaw broken. Although blood splattered his whole body, his heavenly Tao energy circulated and healed his injuries in an instant. With a furious roar, his claw sliced through space. Darkwing Wild Claw, Hu Xiaolin's claws caused the air around him to turn muddled. He vanished from everyone's sight. Heavens, what kind of move is that? Where'd he go? Hu Shaolin had slashed out hundreds of times just now seeming to slice off layers of space and block off their vision of both Hu Shaolin and Long Chen. Within that chaotic space, continuous explosive sounds rang out. However, people were unable to see what was going on. Boom finally, a large figure flew out, and the chaotic space vanished, revealing Long Chen's slightly bloody figure. Chapter 1557 True Body Transformation Translator Born to be Long Chen's figure had just appeared when he charged at Hu Shaolin once more, not giving the latter any breathing room. Hu Shaolin appeared even more wretched than before. His shoulder had exploded into a pulp of flesh. It was unknown what kind of attack he had suffered. Long Chen's kick met Hu Xiaolin's punch. After blowing Hu Xiaolin's fist back, Long Chen took one step forward and arrived right in front of Hu Shaolin, grabbing Hu Xiaolin's hair. Long Chen's kneecap smashed into his face that was three times larger than an ordinary person's buttocks. Hu Shaolin was a giant, and his arms were very long. Now that Long Chen was this close, he panicked, not knowing how he was supposed to fight like this. That was because he had never had a real fight against a human. Normally, this move of Long Chen's would strike his opponent's nose, but Hu Xiaolin's head was just too big, and Long Chen couldn't pinpoint the nose correctly. As a result, Long Chen's knee struck his eye socket. The sound of bones breaking caused everyone to wince. Blood spurted from Hu Xiaolin's head. Hu Shaolin let out a wild roar, 
and Long Chen was suddenly blown back by an irresistible power. A berserk aura surged. The sky became dark as a giant figure appeared. He's returned to his true body. Startled cries rang out. Hu Shaolin had finally abandoned his human form and returned to his original form. His huge body completely blocked the sun. A berserk killing intent made everyone shiver. He was a giant tiger with a pair of black wings. With each flap of his wings, the sky shuddered. The tiger's entire body was black and a bit lustrous. Its huge fangs gave off a chillingly sharp light, and his huge eyes possessed boundless killing intent as he glared at Long Chen. One of his eye sockets was still bleeding, as that was the injury Long Chen had just caused. After taking the true form of the Darkwing Devil Tiger, Hu Shaolin suddenly slammed a huge claw at Long Chen. What shocked people was that despite him having a body tens of thousands of meters long, his speed was still fast. They practically couldn't even see his movements. A claw as large as a mountain smashed toward Long Chen. Long Chen didn't even have a chance to dodge and was struck head on. The ground exploded and astral winds spread. The entire world rocked because of this one attack. What terrifying power. What terrifying speed. Spider web cracks had covered the land. As if the entire world was about to crumble. That power had surpassed their understanding. I've heard rumors that the Xuan beasts transform into their human form in order to sense the heavenly deos. Merge their divine abilities with the heavenly deos. And create their foundation for ascension. However. Their human form also limits their power. Only once they return to their true forms can they unleash their full power. When Hu Shaolin said that he was using only 50% of his power, it seems he wasn't lying, said the Empyrean from the neutral camp. Although he was also an Empyrean, now he found out just how lacking he was compared to Hu Shaolin. The power that Hu Shaolin had revealed before wasn't something he could defeat, but at least he'd be able to flee. However, now Hu Shaolin was as quick as lightning, and thus he'd definitely die before getting away. His only option would be to patiently wait for his death. In front of Hu Shaolin, Long Chen appeared to be an ant that could be crushed with a single blow. Even the dragon blood warriors jumped in shock. The power of just a physical body couldn't possibly block such a terrifying attack. Don't worry, boss is definitely fine, said Guo Ran. He was the one most confident in Long Chen. Boom. The ground exploded, and a pillar of green light lit up the sky. The claw that Hu Shaolin had slammed into the ground suddenly shot back, and his huge body was sent flying. Everyone looked toward the green pillar of light in shock. They saw Long Chen slowly floating out of the ground. His divine ring with the five-point star still illuminated his body, but now his body was covered in green scales. When the light of the five-point star landed on his green scales, they emitted a brilliant green light, making him appear even more godlike. What the fuck? Why can't I look like that? Guo Ran couldn't help feeling envious. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan are all smiled. In this world, there was no one more reliable than Long Chen. Being with Long Chen always made them feel safe. With the dragon scales covering his body, Long Chen emitted a noble, holy aura. He emitted a will that shook the nine heavens and subdued the four seas. Long Chen had summoned the green dragon battle armor. However, this time, with the five-point star illuminating him, his true dragon essence blood was fully activated. That majestic aura was released automatically. To humans, this aura only felt grand and vast. To the ancient races, it felt like a stone was pressing against their hearts. In front of that pressure, they found it hard to breathe. However, the ones who had it the worst were the Xuan beasts. They were all pale with terror. Their souls were shuddering. This is dragon might. How could a human possess dragon might? Cried out a Xuan beast expert. Tigers were sometimes called the kings of a hundred beasts. Those beasts referred to regular beasts. Dragons were the emperor of all beasts. These beasts were not just ordinary beasts but also divine beasts. Dragons were supreme existences. Any beast would feel suppressed by its pressure. Although Long Chen possessed true dragon essence blood, he had never learned how to activate the dragon might. It was only now that his five stars had reached their complete state that the illumination of the five-point star fully activated the dragon might hidden in his blood. The Xuan beasts were extremely sensitive to this dragon might. Others might not feel much, but these experts from the Darkwing Devil Tiger race were all trembling. 
This was something they couldn't control. Standing up in the air, with waves of divine green light flowing around him, Long Chen said, Nothing in this world is impossible. That's why whether you're a man or a beast, you need to have respect in your heart. However, the lot of you decided to frame me and ruin my reputation for your selfish desires. I don't particularly care about that, as I can laugh something like that off. However, you shouldn't have touched my reverse scale. If you wanted to target me, you should have come at me instead of reaching your despicable hands toward my companions and tormenting them. Don't blame me for being vicious. Thinking of Cloud's miserable state, Long Chen's fury suddenly soared. He pounced at Hu Shaolin. A huge flame blade slashed through the air at Hu Shaolin. Hu Xiaolin's huge wings slammed forward at Long Chen's flame blade. Blinding runes exploded through the air. Hu Shaolin let out a furious roar as he was blown back by Long Chen's flame blade. His black wings were now ablaze with golden flames. Black Qi surged out of the wings, slowly erasing the flames. All this time, Huo Long had continuously absorbed the divine flame crystals. Its power had grown to the point that it practically matched a fully matured earth flame. Its flame energy was something that frightened even the Empyreans. If they were touched by it, they would need a huge amount of heavenly Tao energy to erase the flames. Each slash of Long Chen's blade forced Hu Shaolin back. Under Long Chen's dragon might, Hu Shaolin was unable to display his full power. Only the Xuan beasts understood that logic, while the ancient races were able to see some clues. However, the humans were unable to see that Hu Shaolin was being suppressed by Long Chen's dragon might. All they saw was Long Chen's scale shining while Hu Shaolin was repeatedly forced back. He's completely suppressed. Long Chen's actually suppressed Hu Shaolin he doesn't even have any heavenly Tao fluctuations. He can't be an Empyrean A monster. That's the only way to describe Long Chen. A terrifying monster. The neutral camp's experts couldn't help muttering amongst themselves as they saw Long Chen force back the giant black beast. Golden flames filled the sky. Hu Shaolin was only able to stay alive in the sea of flames. He wasn't able to retaliate at all. Hu Xiaolin's power is suppressed by Long Chen's dragon might. He can't use his abilities. We're going out as well, said Yan Weishan to the corrupt paths Jin Mingwei. Long Chen's power had far surpassed their expectations. Now wasn't the time to mock Hu Shaolin. If Long Chen really did defeat the Xuan beasts while they just stood and watched, that would offend the whole Xuan beast races. Although Hu Xiaolin's mouth was very dislikable. They all knew that the Xuan beasts were very protective of their members and also overbearing. They had to go help him now. TCH. After all his bragging, I actually thought he had some ability. With the dragon might, this tiger has turned into a cat. Sneered Bloodkill One. Yan Weishan frowned. I called you over to give face to you. If you don't want to fight, I'll do it myself. Bloodkill One's expression was calm, but a bit of anger had appeared in his eyes. However, Yan Weishan and Jin Mingwei ignored him. They vanished from their original locations. Long Chen was in the midst of fighting Hu Shaolin when he suddenly sensed danger. His flame blade slashed behind him. Boom. Flames exploded. A flame spear had appeared in the air, shocking Long Chen. This flame spear was actually able to block his flame blade. Suddenly, the flames exploded, and a blood colored hand reached out toward Long Chen. Chapter 1558 A Battle Between Dragons and Tigers Translator. Born to be the blood colored hand appeared out of nowhere, but as soon as it did, an evil air filled the air. The wails of millions of ghosts could be heard. The large hand blocked the sun, and a cold killing intent locked onto Long Chen. Long Chen was startled by Jin Mingwei's attack. The cries of the ghosts were actually a spiritual attack that caused him to feel like space was thrown into chaos. A lightning blade immediately appeared in Long Chen's left hand, and he slashed it at the blood-colored hand. Boom. The hand was cut in two. Blood Qi filled the air, emitting a nauseating scent. As Long Chen cut apart the hand, it revealed Jin Mingwei's sinister face. He had a bloodthirsty smile on his face as he smashed his fist at Long Chen. Jin Mingwei's manifestation had appeared behind him. His manifestation was also not just a mass of primal chaos. Instead, it was scarlet like blood. Various terrifying life forms seemed to rise and fall within his manifestation. Blood runes revolved around his fist. 
There was also blood-colored armor on his arm. Long Chen hastily blocked it with his own fist, but he was blown back. What shocked Long Chen was that Jin Mingwei's power was extremely strange. With the support of his manifestation, he wasn't any weaker than Hu Shaolin. Long Chen, did you really think controlling the heaven incinerating flame would allow you to dominate the flame Dao? Today, I'll show you that there are many powerful flames not any weaker than the heaven incinerating flame. Yan Weishan suddenly raised his flame spear, and red flames exploded out of his body. Those flames were the same color as blood. His manifestation rumbled behind him. Vague images of high mountains could be seen within, but it was too vague to see anything clearly. As his manifestation rumbled, his spear, which was originally one composed of flames, became solid. It was the same as a real spear, and divine runes circulated around it. Heavens, the three of them have reached the initial awakening of their manifestations Hu Shaolin, Jin Mingwei, and Yan Weishan surrounded Long Chen, three powerful empyreans with their manifestations at full power, emitted such pressure that it terrified everyone. If it was anyone else, even another Empyrean, then let alone fighting, they might not even have the courage to raise their weapons. That was a pressure that caused despair. Everyone was stunned for a moment. Although many people had thought that Long Chen's final fate would be to die here, they hadn't expected it to require three powerful experts to kill him. Long Chen, last time. I was too late to kill you when you stepped into the corrupt path sacred land. This time, you won't be able to get away no matter what. I want to suck all your essence blood dry. Jin Mingwei licked his lips with a bloodthirsty light in his eyes. Jin Mingwei had a very intense desire for essence blood, especially the essence blood of experts. He couldn't resist that allure, as that was related to his cultivation technique. He had to consume the essence blood of experts to cultivate. There's no blood, but there's piss. Do you want to drink it? Asked Long Chen calmly. Even in such a tense situation, Long Chen's reply caused people's expressions to turn odd. Courting death, Jin Mingwei roared and sent another punch at Long Chen. What no one expected was that Long Chen simply let out a single palm to face Jin Mingwei's punch. A lightning rune appeared on his palm, and it shattered the blood runes around Jin Mingwei's fist allowing Long Chen to catch his fist. At this moment, Hu Shaolin also attacked. A claw the size of a mountain crashed toward Long Chen. Hu Shaolin was still maintaining his Xuan beast form. Only in this form could he threaten Long Chen. If he returned to his human form, his power would sharply drop. However, his huge body was not convenient for the others that fought alongside him. Long Chen suddenly twisted his body, pulling Jin Mingwei toward Hu Xiaolin's claw. Then without even looking, Long Chen slashed his flame blade at Yan Weishan who was coming right at him. Their two flame weapons clashed. Flames exploded, causing space to twist. The golden and blood-colored flames raged, looking like the apocalypse. Fortunately, people were far away enough that they weren't affected by the flames. Once the flames faded, the ground had been turned black, and a stinging scent hung in the air. Long Chen had just blocked Yan Weishan's attack when another bang rang out behind him. Jin Mingwei had been sent flying by Hu Shaolin. Due to Long Chen's move, he was not on guard against Hu Shaolin. While Hu Shaolin had attacked with his full power, Jin Mingwei coughed up a mouthful of blood. Hu Shaolin, you're courting death, roared Jin Mingwei. You're the one who flew over. What does it have to do with me? retorted Jin Mingwei. All the distant experts saw it clearly. Long Chen's movements were extremely clean. At this moment, Long Chen's flame blade was still pressed against Yan Weishan's spear. Their two flame energies surged against each other. Yan Weishan smiled coldly. This flame of mine is Pao. Long Chen was originally holding his flame blade with both hands, but he suddenly released one hand and slapped Yan Weishan across the face. Yan Weishan was sent flying, but due to diverting his energy for a slap, Long Chen's power was also lowered and he was sent flying by Yan Weishan's power. However, while they were both flying back, Yan Weishan had been slapped in the face. The spectators were all dumbfounded by Long Chen's actions. This kind of fighting style was something they had never seen and never even dreamed of. Who would bother slapping someone in the face during an intense battle? Stop chattering. I don't care what your flame is, sneered Long Chen. 
with the lightning blade in one hand and a flame blade in another, he shot toward Jin Mingwei and Hu Shaolin who were charging at him. Hu Shaolin was weak to flame, while Jin Mingwei's evil techniques were restricted by Long Chen's thunder force, which was a supreme yang force. The two of them were immediately forced back by him, but he was also knocked back. Long Chen. Die. Yan Weishan was enraged at being slapped, and his Yuan spirit appeared on his forehead. Flame energy exploded around him, and sacred chanting filled the air. He had activated the Nirvana scripture. Flame moon slashes the heavens. Yan Weishan swung his spear, and a huge crescent flame blade sliced toward Long Chen. Yan Weishan was truly infuriated. He didn't remember the last time anyone had struck him. By the time he had grown, no one had even dared to touch him. Long Chen's slap almost drove him insane. He immediately launched one of his killing attacks. Long Chen retreated while his own Yuan spirit appeared, chanting the Nirvana scripture. This chanting was even more sacred than Yan Weishan's chanting. It was grander and holier. A huge sphere condensed in Long Chen's right hand. With his lightning flash step, Long Chen vanished from his original location as the flame sphere smashed toward the crescent blade. Starfall struck the crescent blade. The world seemed to freeze for a moment before terrifying flames exploded in every direction. This was a world-shaking collision. Even the spectators were affected. Fortunately, there were Empyreans who protected people from the flames, or the weaker ones would have been incinerated. The rank 8 celestials were green with fright. Having come to watch the fun, they almost lost their lives. Even this much distance was no guarantee of safety, but if they went further, they wouldn't be able to see anything. Don't hold back. Kill Long Chen. Seeing that he was unable to do anything to Long Chen with this attack, Yan Weishan roared and his Yuan spirit shone. The mountain range within his manifestation seemed to erupt. The sky trembled. It was like the world had been struck by a giant hammer. Boom. Long Chen used his flame blade to block Yan Weishan's attacks. However, his flame blade exploded almost instantly, and he was blown back. Yan Weishan's power had doubled after activating his manifestation. All right, but Long Chen's essence blood is mine. Jin Mingwei smiled coldly and his Yuan spirit appeared. It was a blood-colored figure, and it suddenly let out a sharp wail as if it was in great pain. A blood chain appeared within Jin Mingwei's manifestation and shot out. It stabbed through Jin Mingwei's back, shocking everyone. Was this suicide? After being pierced by his chain, Jin Mingwei's body withered as his blood was sucked away. He became a desiccated corpse. GGG. Long Chen. I'll let you experience true power. This was actually something I was planning on saving for Hu Shaolin. You can die in peace now. Even Jin Mingwei's voice had changed. It was like the voice of a hellish specter, extremely sharp like it was stabbing their ears. Jin Mingwei's corpse-like body suddenly moved. A withered claw reached toward Long Chen, and he met it with a punch. The instant Long Chen's fist met Jin Mingwei's withered claw, Jin Mingwei's manifestation shook. A terrifying burst of energy erupted, causing Long Chen's expression to change. He was actually unable to block it and was sent flying. Die. At that exact moment, a huge claw slammed down from the air. Black Chi surged out of Hu Shaolin, forming overlapping images of him. That Black Chi was like a flood, increasing his power. Boom. Long Chen was struck head on by the claw and violently coughed up blood. Chapter 1559 Divine Ring Shakes Heaven and Earth Translator. Born to be three powerful experts were unleashing their full power at once forcing Long Chen back over and over again. And finally, Hu Ziyalin's claw caused him to cough up blood. Everyone was watching with rapt attention. It seemed like the three of them had yet to unleash their full power before. They were only bringing out their real abilities now. What they didn't know was that in truth, Hu Shaolin, Jin Mingwei, and Yan Weishan represented the forces of three different factions. If it weren't for Long Chen, they would never work together. Although the three of them had all come to the dragon slaughtering convention, each of them was wary of the others. The reason Hu Shaolin had held back despite clearly being suppressed by Long Chen was because he was wary of Jin Mingwei and Yan Weishan learning of his trump cards while he learned nothing of theirs. Although they weren't enemies, the three of them were definitely not friends. None of them wanted to expose their true power to others. Yan Weishan had seen through this point, 
which was why he had called out for Jin Mingwei to help so that all three of them could suppress Long Chen. Originally, his thought was that if the three of them went out, they would be able to defeat Long Chen even without exposing their trump cards. After all, there were too many people here. Exposing their trump cards was putting themselves at risk. It was leaving behind an unfavorable element for their future competitions with the other region's heavenly geniuses. However, Long Chen's slap in the face had almost driven Yan Weishan crazy. He no longer bothered with holding back his trump card, instantly fully activating his manifestation. Seeing that Yan Weishan had fully activated his manifestation, if the other two continued holding back, it would be offending Pill Valley. So they also unleashed their full power. That way, all of them would know each other's trump cards. That wasn't that bad. With their three manifestations at full power, all the heavenly Tao energy was sucked away by them. Even fellow Empyreans were almost unable to sense any heavenly Tao energy. It was like the world's energy was sucked dry by the three of them. At this point, even the dragon blood warriors were starting to worry about Long Chen. The three of them were just too powerful. Long Chen, you're dead, roared Yan Weishan. The volcanoes in his manifestation began to erupt, and his power continued to rise as he stabbed his spirit him. If this is your full power, you'll probably be the ones to die, said Long Chen. The lightning blade and flame blade in his hands vanished. He actually sent out a bare-handed punch at Yan Weishan's spear. Foolish arrogance raged Yan Weishan. This was clearly an insult. His spear whistled as he thrust it with all his power, wanting to break Long Chen's arm. Buzz. The divine ring behind Long Chen was originally still, but it now began to revolve. As it did, the 108,000 stars in his body began to shine. A thunderous rumbling came from within his body. The five-colored divine ring spun faster and faster, and the rumbling grew louder. Long Chen had found that after fully condensing all five stars, the 108,000 stars in his acupuncture point seemed to have come to life. They were completely different from before. The five-colored ring spun faster and faster, but the five-point star inside stayed still. However, its light grew more intense. As its light sprinkled over Long Chen, an image of a star appeared on every single one of his 108,000 scales. The rumbling coming from Long Chen's body suddenly reached a peak, and Long Chen let out a heaven-shaking roar. Boom! Long Chen's palm slammed into Yan Weishan's spear. The spear exploded, and Long Chen's palm continued onwards. Seeing this, Yan Weishan instinctively twisted his body, causing Long Chen's palm to strike his shoulder. Yan Weishan's shoulder blew up and his upper body was dyed in blood. Without waiting for him to recover, Long Chen followed up with another punch at Yan Weishan's head. If this struck, he'd definitely die. Heavenly Flame Shield. Yan Weishan had no time to dodge. Acting practically on instinct, his Yuan spirit formed hand seals together with his true body, summoning two flame barriers. One was summoned by his true body, while one was summoned by his Yuan spirit. With both shields working together, their defensive power was ten times greater than a single shield. Regretfully, the shields had been constructed too hastily and hadn't even reached their strongest state before Long Chen's punch arrived. They exploded, while Long Chen's fist smashed into Yan Weishan's nose. This fist was originally powerful enough to kill Yan Weishan for sure, but after going through the two barriers, its power, speed, and accuracy had all dropped. It had less than 10% of its power but that was enough to crush Yan Weishan's nose and leave an indent in his face. This sudden change caught everyone off guard. Before they could react, Yan Weishan was already in desperate straits. Just as Long Chen was preparing for another attack to completely annihilate Yan Weishan, a blood-colored sword whistled toward his back. Blood Qi exploded out of it, filling the air with the scent of blood. This was Jin Mingwei's powerful attack, even before it arrived. Long Chen felt a chill on his back. This attack was definitely not ordinary. Long Chen had no time to kill Yan Weishan. Thus, he sent a kick to the latter's crotch to send him flying, making him let out a miserable shriek. When Long Chen had broken his nose, Yan Weishan had merely let out a pained grunt, but this kick was too ruthless. It was just a quick kick, but it still possessed enough power to crush Yan Weishan's life rod, which was why he emitted such a shriek. Practically, every man turned cold. 
Some people even crossed their legs involuntarily, feeling a sympathetic pain. Long Chen used the rebound power of the kick to move back ever so slightly. The blood-colored sword barely shot past his body. Boom. The sword stabbed into the ground and exploded. Blood runes filled the space. As the blood runes spread, the ground transformed. It melted like snow, turning into a sea of blood. Everyone sucked in a cold gasp of air. That sword was absolutely terrifying. How was one supposed to receive it? When it exploded, a person's body would corrode into blood. Long Chen was also shocked. He had merely felt it to be very strange. So it was unexpected that it possessed such a terrifying corrosive effect. After barely dodging the sword, Long Chen sensed Hu Island's claw smashing toward him with enough power to break apart heaven and earth. In terms of power, you are just trash. Long Chen's divine ring circulated as he sent out a single punch. A powerful fist image flew out. Boom. Hu Island's giant body was sent flying. Most shockingly, there was blood in the air. Heavens. Hu Island's claw was injured. Someone sharp-eyed saw that Hu Island's claw was a massive pulp now. The Xuan beasts didn't need to use weapons. Hu Island's claws were his weapons. However, a bare-handed Long Chen had actually injured his claw. In terms of power, Hu Shaolin had been completely defeated. That, that will shake the entire martial heaven continent, sighed someone. During this entire battle, people had seen that Long Chen was holding back. Especially when he fought Hu Shaolin. He always raised his own power in accordance with Hu Xiaolin's power. When Hu Shaolin was only using the power of his physical body, Long Chen would also only use the power of his physical body. Only once Hu Shaolin used his divine abilities had Long Chen used magical arts. He was doing this to prove to everyone that a human could still suppress a Xuan beast with power. This was a provocation to the Xuan beasts. The Xuan beasts were probably about to go berserk. This is the true power of the five stars. Long Chen had an excited smile. After all that suffering, he had finally gotten his reciprocation for fully condensing the five stars. Die. Long Chen had just blown Hu Shaolin back when Yan Weishan charged over ferociously. His eyes were completely red, looking like he wanted to bite Long Chen to death. It went without saying that an Empyrean's recovery abilities were truly heaven-defying. Yan Weishan had actually fully healed those injuries in just a breath's time. As for whether or not his life rod had regrown, no one knew. Wanting to kill me is a grand aspiration, but you will probably never achieve it in your lifetime, sneered Long Chen. Under the illumination of his divine ring and five-point star, he let out a single punch, once more breaking Yan Weishan. After forcing back Yan Weishan, a lightning blade reappeared in Long Chen's left hand, and he slashed it through space. There, a blood-colored sword had just condensed when it was instantly crushed. The lightning blade didn't pause, continuing toward Jin Mingwei who was forming hand seals. Jin Mingwei was also forced back. Don't bring out the same move in front of me twice, sneered Long Chen. He had already gotten a grasp of that attack's fluctuations and he wouldn't give Jin Mingwei another chance to unleash it. A fierce fight began. Flames and lightning raged as Long Chen fought against these three powerful Empyreans. With his divine ring circulating, his attacks were incredibly sharp. Hu Shaolin, Yan Weishan, and Jin Mingwei roared furiously over and over again as they unleashed their full power. Their divine abilities and magical art seemed limitless, but no matter what they tried, Long Chen would crush their moves. Even three against one, they can't defeat Long Chen. Long Chen really is heaven defying. People were filled with shock as they looked up at the sky. Brilliant light constantly exploded, and space was twisting wildly. They were barely able to see four figures repeatedly clashing. This wasn't a level of power humans should possess. The world was constantly shaking, and rubble occasionally shot through the air. After two hours, the fierce battle was still continuing with no signs of slowing down. Instead, it only grew more berserk. Suddenly, a large bone claw appeared in the sky. It emitted powerful divine light as it smashed toward Long Chen. They finally started using divine items. Startled cries rang out. This bone claw was clearly a terrifying divine item. Chapter 1565 Point Star Pierces the Dome of the Sky Translator Born to be divine might shook the sky. 
That huge bone claw was an incredibly powerful divine item that Hu Shaolin had taken out. This was a divine item left behind by one of the Darkwing Devil Tiger race's ancestors. It was the remains a terrifying expert of their race had left behind. All the power of that expert's cultivation base was condensed within it. Amongst the three of them, the most infuriated one would have to be the one who had been slapped in the face, had his nose broken, and his balls crushed. Yan Weishan. However, he had actually endured, while Hu Shaolin had taken out a divine item first. This was because of Long Chen's dragon pressure. Hu Shaolin was unable to bring out all of his power because of it, resulting in him being the weakest amongst them. When the three of them worked together, due to his large body, he was unable to cooperate nimbly. He could only wait at the side and look for opportunities. He, a heavenly genius of the Xuan beasts, had actually turned into a mere extra with everyone watching. That was unacceptable to him. However, the other two also refused to be the first to take out a divine item. That was because being the first one to take out a divine item would represent that that person was the first to be unable to go on without one. That was why the three of them had continued fighting without them. But Hu Shaolin couldn't endure any longer. He was extremely sullen inside. All he wanted was to kill Long Chen. Not bothering with anything else. He became the first to take out a divine item. His giant bone claw. A terrifying pressure caused even the distant spectators to feel like space had frozen. They felt that this divine item was different from other divine items. It was even more terrifying. Even more powerful. I just knew you are the weakest. Laughed Long Chen. Hu Shaolin almost coughed up blood. Just being the first to take out a divine item was embarrassing enough. But now Long Chen had added salt into his wound. Long Chen was fearless in the face of the bone claw. Instead. He was excited. His battle intent had been ignited. Break. A black saber appeared in Long Chen's hands. And a huge saber image soared into the sky. Slashing the bone claw. Boom. Divine light exploded. Huge waves spread through space like an angry tsunami noveloon.com This was the dreadful power of divine items. The surrounding space around them exploded. Long Chen and Hu Shaolin were both blown away. Yan Weishan and Jin Mingwei were at the core of the battlefield and were the first to be affected by their divine power. However, divine light appeared around them as well, protecting them. A golden cauldron appeared above Yan Weishan, emitting waves of golden light that protected him. As for Jin Mingwei, the gourd on his waist was now above his head. Waves of blood chi came from it, preventing Jin Mingwei from being affected by the shock waves of the divine items. Why is it that their divine items are able to release such power in their hands? Could it be that they're already powerful enough to use divine items? Cried out someone. Previously, people had seen the Empyreans fighting Guo Ran, Meng Qi, and the others wielding divine items. However, they weren't able to unleash this much power from their divine items. It's not that they're fully using their divine items, but that their divine items are above ordinary divine items. Explained the Empyrean from the neutral camp. Only Empyreans in possession of divine items were qualified to understand the difference between divine items. Some of these people hadn't even seen divine items before. So they naturally didn't know that divine items were classified according to different levels. The divine items in these Empyreans' hands were at most quasi-divine items. They didn't have innate divine runes. However... Even quasi-divine items weren't something that they were qualified to use. They couldn't activate their true divine power. The reason Hu Shaolin, Jin Mingwei, and Yan Weishan's divine items were able to unleash such power wasn't because they could control them, but because of the divine items themselves. The power of divine items was so great that they could destroy the world, but it was also because of their great power that they had to be sealed with restrictions when they were made. Otherwise. If a divine item attacked its master, the world would be thrown into chaos. Divine items themselves were only able to control a very small portion of their power. 99% of their power required a person to activate. That was why although some of the spectators possessed divine items, none of them had a divine item that could unleash such power. They couldn't even unleash a tenth of their divine item's power. However, these principles were only known by Empyreans. The others didn't have that much understanding of divine items. 
All they knew was that Long Chen and Huzai Island's exchange was an apocalyptic one. Even from such a distance, they were shaken by the divine might. They didn't even dare to move. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder, holding Evil Moon. He was full of confidence as well as an intense desire to fight. This was still his favorite way of fighting. Simple hacks of a saber were what made him feel the most content. Tell me, why bother testing me bit by bit? Shouldn't you have brought out your divine items earlier? How is this any different from taking off your pants to fart? Even tigers use their full power to hunt down a rabbit. Well, there's just one thing I want to ask you. Does your face not hurt? Long Chen's words were another slap in their faces. At first, the three of them had thought that Long Chen was trapped like a turtle in a jar, and if it weren't for the orders from higher ups, they wouldn't have even bothered coming. They would have ordered others to handle him, as doing it personally was lowering their own status. However, as soon as they started fighting, they were forced to bring out all their power and were still unable to defeat him. Thinking of how arrogant they had been and how they had wanted to use the least amount of power to defeat him, they all felt their faces twitch. The more arrogant they had been, the more resounding this slap was. Shameless arrogance. Face your death. Raged Yan Weishan. Long Chen's words burned his cheeks. The golden furnace above his head suddenly grew and smashed toward Long Chen. The golden furnace left behind a large black mark as the void exploded wherever it passed. The world was not able to bear its power. If being arrogant means a person should die, none of you should be alive, sneered Long Chen. He slashed Evil Moon. The golden furnace's runes lit up as it activated its own power. Long Chen didn't bother with that. He knew that all he had to do was slash with his own power. Evil Moon would handle the rest. Boom. When Evil Moon and the Golden Furnace met, a faint black light came from Evil Moon. The collision of two divine items caused space to crumble, and spider web like cracks spread through the air. That sight was shocking to behold. The collision of divine items caused powerful shock waves. Long Chen was thrown into the distance, his hand bleeding. He raged. Evil Moon. What are you doing? They've activated their divine power. What are you still sleeping for? The reason Long Chen was angry with Evil Moon was because it had used its divine power only to protect itself, resulting in him receiving a huge backlash. He saw that on the other side, Yan Weishan hadn't suffered any backlash at all. The majority of his power had been blocked by the Golden Furnace. Aren't you someone who wants to stand shoulder to shoulder with the sovereigns? I trust that you can handle this. My energy is rather precious, and I can't waste it. They aren't life star experts and can't bring out the real power of their divine items. I'm sure you'll be fine, said Evil Moon lazily. What the fuck, you Connor? Didn't we agree that you would help me block the power of divine items? The current situation is a bit special. That furnace's origins are a bit terrifying, and it's not easy to handle. You deal with it for now. I'll start thinking of how I can get a big bite of meat from it. All right. Stop nattering. Don't worry. You'll definitely be fine. I look favorably upon you, said Evil Moon. Boom. Long Chen had no more time to communicate with Evil Moon. Jin Mingwei's blood gourd grew to the size of a mountain and smashed toward him. He hastily raised his saber to block. His wrist almost broke, enraging him. Divine items had a special kind of divine energy that gravely injured his body and was difficult to block, but Evil Moon refused to help, which made Long Chen want to curse. Fortunately, his healing abilities were monstrous. During this time, the world trees in the primal chaos space had already grown to over 6,000 meters and could offer him an ocean's worth of life energy. The Golden Furnace, the Blood Gourd, and the Bone Claw all whistled toward him. Long Chen roared furiously, slashing Evil Moon over and over again to force the three powerful divine items back. The intensity of the battle reached a new level. This is their real power? Each of their attacks can kill an Empyrean. This power is enough to cause despair, sighed an Empyrean bitterly. He regretted coming now. He might be classified as a heavenly genius, but this terrifying battle was a grave blow to his confidence. Another Empyrean patted him on the shoulder with a similarly bitter but sympathetic smile. The experts who belonged to Sha Guangyan's camp were all shocked. However, they were also afraid. They were afraid that the three of them would be unable to suppress Long Chen and allow him to escape. 
If he did escape, then as people who had participated in the attack against the Dragonblood Legion, they would have to face a terrifying reprisal. If Long Chen wanted to kill them, then there would be nowhere for them to run. Their only hope was for Yan Weishan, Hu Shaolin, and Jin Mingwei to kill Long Chen right here. Otherwise, they would never be at peace again. Boom. Long Chen forced Jin Mingwei's blood gourd back. Flames exploded out of Long Chen, and a golden sphere shot out. A wave of flames spread, and a translucent figure appeared in the sky suddenly, wrapped by the flames. Blood kill one. I noticed you a long time ago. You want to sneak attack me? You're far too lacking, sneered Long Chen. A huge saber image slashed toward that translucent figure. 